and welcome to the Cyber Shindig Podcast. Yes. What's up, everybody? As always, I'm one of your hosts, Johnny. Sitting next to me is the it's the freaking man himself wearing the Bob's Burger cast shirt on here. That's pretty damn cool. It is quality television, Bob's Burgers. I agree. I haven't gotten into it a whole lot, but I would agree. Top tier. You remind me a lot of Gene. I could see that. I like yeah. him. He like runs around with his little keyboard all the time. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, he wants to be uh, Moby. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? It's Mike, everybody. Sitting to my left. We're hanging out in the Cyber Shindig Studios, a.k.a. my mom's basement. Woo! <laughs> Doesn't get much more hardcore punk than that. There's always food, but... <clears throat> that's true. So, I mean, you, you never can't go, complain. Never go hungry. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I'm excited. That's the only reason I come over. I'm like Steve from Full House, I feel. Whenever Ooh. I come over, I just kind of raid your guys' refrigerator. Except for my mom just like forces food down your throat pretty much instead of you raiding it. Yeah, well, you know. Mm-hmm. Roll reversal. Tomatoes, tomatoes. You got to keep things spicy. It's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Uh, I'm switching it up. I'm keeping it spicy with my drink selection tonight. Whoa. Go ahead and ask me what's in it. Wait a second. I'm like the dude from How to Drink on TV right now. What is What is that? <clears throat> um, It's actually not that exciting. Okay. Well, it's a blue cup with it's a lot of ice. I thought- <laughs> Bunch of I ice. Was, you almost fooled me because I was thought water? that was water. Oh, hell. It's Friday night, And I was night, like, baby. whoa, hold on a second. Friday. <laughs> I ain't drinking water on a Friday night. I what is it? I drink water all day. Uh, this is two shots of Tito's handmade vodka, a whole glass of ice, um, some of this bubbly, sparking, sparkling water, mm. and then some cranberry juice. Wow. It is quite delicious. Would you like to try some? No. Good choice. Yeah. Every time, so Johnny, whenever he makes drinks, <clears throat> they're awful. He has never once made a drink that is good. I think this one's just about right. We'll ch- we'll I've been dialing it back on my that. mixed drinks because I'm not trying to fuck myself on this show. It doesn't taste like anything. I think it tastes perfect. <laughs> I just don't think it has you, any flavor, dude. You just don't like it because it's not sweet Mike's Hard Lemonade. It doesn't have any flavor. I just taste ice, honestly. You taste the, the lime, taste a little, little bit of, of no, no, no. A little bit of cranberry. Go ahead. Keep, telling me, keep telling me what it tastes. It's like perfect. I'll yeah. tell you what you're tasting. Here, I don't get taste over anything. Give me a smooch. I you w- can taste it on my lips, baby. <laughs> but plant it right here. I want to be able taste to like, feel my drink. Okay? <laughs> you want to feel it? I want to feel it. I want to start like mm. hearing colors when oh, I start shit. drinking You're something a like bad that. bad acid trip then. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, last week was Mike's birthday. It was? He's 32 years old. Yeah. Never looked better. Didn't look a day over 21 in my book. Oh, thank no, you. No, you're 27. I'm 27. And happy belated to you, bud. Thank uh, you. I found out it was Mike's birthday via Facebook, which is awesome. <laughs> but he's like, dude, you should have fucking known. I was like, you know who I like, I don't even know anyone. I don't, I don't know shit, dude. It's true. Johnny doesn't, I don't even know if you know your grandmother's no, birthday, No, I don't. Honestly. I don't. I don't think I don't. you do. I know my mom and my I don't even know my dad. I know my dad's the month. I, I know my mom's. Johnny's really good at knowing months. I will give you that. I'm terrible. But you're terrible at dates. I'm pretty good with names. Pretty bad with dates. Mm-hmm. Remembering the, that kind of shit. You have, like, I don't know. You, you your to- skills are not in remembering no. important things. That's I guess. You remember Depends general on. things, yeah, yeah. but not important things. Yeah, yeah. Well, like singularly important things. Right. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's tough. And you didn't even mention it, like, on the podcast before, like... You went out with Mel, but that was probably for your birthday. Am I right? On Saturday, yeah. Yeah, you, didn't you talk about like you were like, yeah, we went out to dinner, and I was like, oh, cool. And you didn't? Oh no, no, no. no? Was that, that was a different? Day. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> um, so what day was your birthday on? It was Sunday. Okay, we recorded Friday. Oh, that's why, motherfucker. I don't like. I don't know. I don't like bringing up my birthday. I don't care. You it's got not, it. I'm not like one of those guys where it's like I don't like celebrating well, my birthday. I like celebrating my birthday. Oh hell yeah! I was just surprised you didn't mention that you were going to be going out for your birthday. Like that's how I would have been. Like yeah, I'm going well, out Sunday for birthday dinner. When we talk about our weekly breakdowns, <clears throat> it's usually last week. I don't talk about yeah. like what's going on in the future. Okay. Well, I'm glad the one good thing <laughs> Facebook is around for. Is letting me know when people's birthday is. You know what's funny about that? I'm glad you mentioned this. <clears throat> I was trying the night before to stop that from happening. Because You motherfucker. Because, Why? Not because of you, but because like, I don't know. I don't like uh, like my friends and people who know it's my birthday. Though I guess this is a bad example. <laughs> But, like, the people who know it's my birthday will wish me happy birthday. Yeah, you I don't, don't like that? I just don't like my wall, like... Getting blown up. Yeah. 
Okay. I appreciate. No, I, I don't, understand. No, everyone I understand. who's listening who wrote me a happy birthday yeah, message, like, Fuck thank you. you. Next year, I'm not writing. And I shit. appreciate it. I yeah. really do if that you went out and like said happy birthday. Next year, let's make Mike's no, no, message just, board just crickets. <laughs> no one acknowledges anything on your birthday next year. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. Twenty seven is a weird year. Um, it's not as odd. You're going to be experiencing it in a few months. Yeah, in June. It's not very odd. I thought turning twenty six. Was that was weird. Harder than twenty turn twenty seven. Twenty five is like the perfect. You're in the pocket. Yeah. Like yeah, as far yeah. as physicality. I'm starting to get like freaked out a little, like 19, a little anxious. Like nineteen to twenty five, you're right in the pocket. Yeah. Like you're gonna be you're at your peak. Yeah. Well, peak I don't performance. Know about that. I think so. You like think physically you're in no. your No. Okay, maybe not like art like personally, but like time wise as far as our life. People who are older always say like their early thirties, mid thirties okay. were like their peak. I could see that just too. because of like their life, like it was starting to like get on track, and yeah. like uh, they were like the healthiest then. Like in their twenties, they they're always like, I just went went r- like rancid. Yeah, like I just did what I wanted. You know, I wasn't caring about things. That's true. That's kind of what your twenties are for, right? But, but yeah, man, I'm glad you had a good birthday. I'm guessing I did. Put we'll a talk pin in that it. real quick. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta get something for Mike. Okay, <laughs> while we're talking about it. I will say turning 27 wasn't bad, but I think turning 28 is going to be weird, and 29 is even worse. 30, I mean, when you turn 30, it's just kind of like, here we are, I'm 30. I forgot there's a camera I can look at now. Here we are, I'm 30. And then you get, get, I feel like you get to start over because (laughs) that's funny. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. When we were at Mal's grandparents for my birthday, we just kept singing the Red Robin's birthday song. Which one song. is that? Do you remember that? Okay, I literally had this written down for a bit in the second half. But did what you is really? It? Yes. It's like, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. Do we have a birthday no, here? Yes, we have a birthday here. Up. Birthday here? Birthday where? Birthday! I'm surprised happy no one shot birthday. that fucking place up after that kind of birthday <laughs> song. I would be pissed. When was the last time you went to Red Robins? Uh, with you, I think. A long time ago. I'll, I'll tell you what, when we meet, uh, we don't talk about what we're doing in the future, but when we meet uh, Casey and Mal for our D&D thing, Ooh. maybe we should go to Red Robins. I'd be cool with that. Yeah. Get some uh, ice cream I'll milkshakes. I'll take that into consideration. Yeah, will you? Bottomless fries. Bottomless fries. What's not, what, is, what is the birthday song? It's like, happy birthday to you. Happy Hi. birthday. Happy birthday to you. You know, I, I happy know birthday. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know it? I'm spooked. Fuck, is it like Chuck E. Cheese or some shit? I never went Call to- Call in. I went to Chuck E. Cheese once. Okay. 219-552-1128. <laughs> nice. I went to Chuck E. Cheese once, and it freaked me out because I didn't like the animatronics. I'm with you there. That was the fuck most fucked up part of the whole place. I did. <laughs> Not that they were selling $2 pizzas for 30 bucks, but the animatronics were the craziest things in there. Wasn't it? Dave and Buster's is so much better than Chuck E. Cheese. So, I feel like they're far away from us, though. They are. They're, <clears throat> it's like a good, from here, like an hour. It's like Naperville out in that area. Yeah. Out in yeah. the west side. But it, I love Dave and Buster's. I'm with you. Dude, open your fucking gifts. Oh, I am so excited. Shoot. Actually, open this one first. Okay. Is that an alcoholic beverage? Is it just a Mike's Harder? It I feel be. like it's a Mike's Harder. It might be. And you might, love, you might need to crack it open for I your birthday celebration. This is huge. There's more stuff is. in there besides I that, think too. Something I really like doing, as I have my hand right in the package for the camera. Get your hand out of the cookie jar, Something I like doing is like guessing presents okay. before I open Ooh, them. let's do it. Let's do it. Do you it. do that? No. No? No, I just you, open it. You I'm don't surprised. Like doing it? You I should. don't know what this you do This is Pokemon cards. Ooh. So the Pokemon cards, there's two of them. No, there's more. Whoop. There's more than two. Ooh. Should be one more. We're definitely going to open these on camera. We'll wait okay. till the second part to open them, I'm though, down. okay? To give the viewers a little bit of... Uh, there's a third one. Happy birthday to you. Broken Bond. Happy birthday. I don't think I've opened one of these. I want you to s- con- constantly sing Happy that as birthday. I'm opening. And this bad boy. Oh. oh the King Kamehameha oh. of Mike's Harder. So they had that one in, the, in a watermelon? Hi. Carol's <laughs> down here. Mike's opening his birthday gifts. Nice. They had that one or watermelon. And I was like, hmm... I don't know if Mike's a watermelon kind of guy. You know I'm a vanilla kind of guy. Yeah, that's You've what You've seen I my history, my I internet know. history. Yeah, pretty much. Missionary Mike, <laughs> hashtag. It's illegal. Instagram, inst- Missionary Mike. Fun fact, as we're opening presents. Thank you, by the way. I'm going to yeah, have man. to birthday celebratory. Nice. Ooh. It's a Mike's Harder Lemonade. You want to try it, Carol? You're good. You'll pass out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, fun fact, it is illegal to drink Mike's Hard Lemonade on Sundays. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Where? In Indiana. It's no way. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you at all. That's a lie. Someone lied to you. Okay. Well, that's what I heard. Ooh, that's good. Do you like the music selection? I do like the music the selection. Background? I've never opened up an Unbroken Bonds before. We'll have to open those in the second half. We will. We'll see what we get. What? What are you saying? Old Chuck. I can't understand you. We're shooting here. Okay. <laughs> you got to learn sign language. I can't understand what she's saying. You got to do A, B, C, D, E. E. All right. I'm Happy opening up the next one. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. All right. This is, let's see. This is a book. Is it? Yeah, it's a book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Look at, wait, let the, <laughs> show like, the camera. Show the camera the bags I put in there. Sweet baby, it says on the front. <laughs> this is a book. I'm going to guess. Um, guess what book? Go lay down, Charlie. I'm going to guess something related to what we're doing, which it might be Dungeons and Dragons related, or it could be like some kind of fantasy novel, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, baby. You best believe. Hell yeah. I'm cracking this open tonight. And I was right. This is like a fantasy <laughs> thing. It's Yo. the very first Witcher book. Dog, this is so cool. And I found it online and I bought myself one too. <laughs> and I already started reading it last night. Do you like it? Yeah. <gasps> we should make book club. Next week, we'll review chapters. How, how far are you in? Uh, it's They're pretty quick chapters. So okay. I'm like almost on chapter two. You it's like do, three page chapters. You want to do five, ten yeah, chapters? Yeah, we'll do five to Five-ish chapters. I'll let you know. <laughs> you got a little scared. Yeah. Read the... I wrote you a nice little insert on the front oh, of the book. Oh, did you? Dude, <laughs> this is so sweet. Where is it? Mike. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> enjoy this book as much as I enjoy a cold beer. Spoiler, first chapter is a sex scene. And it is. And it's got like a... <laughs> A emotion. Smi- <laughs> like a little smiley. Love you, buddy, Johnny. Oh, that's so nice. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah, dude. It is good, though. I read the first chapter. The Fang Prince. Ooh. It's fucking good. Let's read the back real quick. Go for it. Geralt of Rivia is a witcher, a man whose magic powers, enhanced by long training and mysterious elixir, have made him a brilliant fighter and a merciless assassin. Heck yeah. Now on Netflix, a Netflix original series. I know, right? It's got to plug that. Yet, he is no ordinary murderer. His targets are the... Ooh, multifarious? Multifarious? I have, I have, dude, you're <laughs> How would you pronounce yeah, that? Where's it at? It's on the second half. Uh, the second half. Murder. His targets are multifarious. Yeah, you got it. Oh, okay. Multifarious monsters <clears throat> and vile fiends that ravage the land and attack the innocent. <laughs> the last like wish it. is the perfect introduction to Sapkowski. <laughs> bro, I'm Sapkowski. He's got it's his ghost form, bro. You know what I'm afraid of, though? I'm really going to like this, and then I'm going to buy. There's eight of them. I know the next eight. I told my mom I bought myself one. She's like, let me read it when you're done. This is sick. And then I read the first chapter, and it's this dude, and it's like, Geralt laying down in some like I think it's a prostitute nice. and like talks about his her boobs rubbing up on nice. I was like hell yeah thank you so much yeah man we got one more over here and it's also baby themed oh it is <laughs> you are so not yeah, you better not I heard be you're uh, expecting <laughs> right, I heard you're pregnant is. not Mal not Mal <laughs> someone said I said I was sick today and they're like are you pregnant this is uh, like a plaque it feels like no it's loose mm, yeah it is. Oh, no, wait, there's like something it. else in here, too. There's two gifts in there. Right, I'm going to get the... Sh- it feels like a shirt, maybe? We'll see. Just when you told me you stopped oh. eating this stuff. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it's a ramen shirt. <laughs> Yo. It's like the... What is it? The Marchan? Mar- Mar- I got to open this I up. I forget how you pronounce it. Show it on it. camera. I have no idea. It's like to... the little the little spo- the little noodle cups or whatever. Mar- Marchan? Marchan? Yeah, the, the instant ramen. Yo. Maruchan. <laughs> Maruchan, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Instant check it out! Lunch. Hopefully that's long enough for you. Oh, so yeah, this will be fine. Short. Oh, yeah. If not, I'll make, I'll make it a little cross <laughs> top. You'll see. <laughs> Every little belly hang out. Lunch. Hell yeah, dude. I saw that and I was like, I need to get Mike some, like a fun shirt. I love getting you in like my, in like row, like funny, f- like rows are more like fun stupid shirts. fun shirts. <laughs> like I got one, I think for his birthday that said vegetarian and it had the, the two like fingers I think, going out like this and it had like a tongue. Pretty I think funny. I've seen him uh, wear that shirt yeah. out in Snapchat yeah. in public. And Sarah's like, oh my God. Sarah loves it, she I heard. She loves when I buy row shirts. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Dude, thank you. Unless, you got one more. One more thing. Ooh, what is it? <clears throat> Ooh, baby. I think you know I what know it is? what this is. Turn is it this around. a, this is, this is a um, Dungeon Master like a uh, folder. It's a folder and it's like, <sighs> 
You can. It's super like customizable, and you can write on it and Screen, it dry erases. Yeah, yo, dude. I figured since you're gonna be a DM here, oh. legit, you're gonna need your own little. What are they called? Screens, and it's got fun little facts and like shit on the inside of it that tell you, like, when you're like talking about like AC and initiative and all sorts of other this fun nerdy stuff. It's so cool, <clears throat> man. Low key between you and I. Uh huh between you and i as we're talking on a live show yeah I said, everyone's um, gonna hear this i was going to buy myself like a just a stupid little thing mm-hmm. to like have like notes and stuff sure. but this is like this is fucking perfect it's honestly legit. Yeah, yeah and i like looked up a bunch of them because i was like i don't really like the style of the outside of it as much as some of the other ones but yeah. the inside all the shit on the inside was like it's cool top, it was top hell. notch Dude, yeah. I no, I like the little like it almost looks like gems. Yeah, yeah, and I think you can write on it. I'm not sure, but I I can't remember if it's got a screen that you can dry erase. If on. it's not, it's customizable, so you can insert your own Ooh. like uh, slides. I Thank love a good you so insert, much, dude. Hell this yeah, is dude. Cool as fuck. Happy merry birthday. <laughs> Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Definitely going to read into birthday. like I just want to open things now and start doing things. Pokémon card suit. <sighs> yeah. No, the, uh, you'll have to let. Yeah, you, we'll have to open because I bought some of those for myself. We'll During our breakout, we'll bust this open and kind of see what look it looks it. like. Yeah, Yo, that's so but cool. the Witcher, it's already got me kind of sucked in, like the book, nice. like the series <laughs> did. What? <laughs> there you go. The funniest fucking shit, dude. Thank you so, so much. Stupid. That's fucking awesome. You got it, man. man. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Like I said, I was like, God damn it, I didn't fucking know it was Mike's birthday. Cheers, Cheers to, to twenty-seven you, years. Yeah. Happy birthday! Hopefully, twenty-seven to you. more. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, I didn't want to. I don't know. I didn't want to say anything on the episode because I'm not like the person that's like, it's gonna be my birthday you know, tomorrow. Dude, I understand. <laughs> you don't want to draw attention to yourself. I didn't. Kind of. I'm not a. I'm not a birthday <clears throat> kind of guy. Anyhow, I, I don't mind it. Hate going out and having ha- like people focusing on you singing happy birthday to you. I refuse to. When so yeah. fun story. This is a fun story for everybody, actually. Hmm. Um, when I turned, I think, 24 or 25, me and Mallory were going out for my birthday for a dinner. Okay. And she's we're... like, to Saks at Valpo. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. So when we were going there, I we were just kind of talking. And I looked at her and I was like, you know, this is the, the kind of best birthday that I can have. Just <sighs> you and me going out to a nice, quiet dinner at like one of our favorite restaurants yeah, that we've always been to. I know you know where it's going to. <laughs> And she's like, oh, that's so, yeah. <laughs> she's probably like, oh, fuck. So we get to Valpo, because that's where it's in. Yeah. Um, and we went to, I think, uh, Barnes & Noble or something to just kind of mess around. And I was like, all right, like our reservation's coming up. We need to go. And she's like, oh, but I'm still just kind of looking around. And I was like, something's Shit. up. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and we got there. And then we had, it was you Casey. Kayla, Stefan, Casey, yeah. Katie it was there as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. The whole it was crew. just a whole crew. Dude, we had like nine And you guys surprised me. Yeah. yeah, you guys had, it was like a whole room rented out. We the balloons were out. And dude, it was such a nice thing, but I felt shitty because I. Uh, like, Man, before. this is so great. Just me and you going out. Low key birthday. <laughs> yeah. And me cut to you walking in. We're like, surprise. <laughs> it was a really oh. nice surprise. Though. It was my fir- That was my first ever surprise birthday. Those are fun. Yeah. Those are a lot of fun. And was, and you introduced me to the stack sticks. Oh, you best believe Holy I did. Holy fuck. Yeah. That changed your life, didn't it? It's a meal in itself. <laughs> Dude, those things are so good. I refuse to not get anything but those every time. I'll get two appetizers Ooh. when I go. Got to get stack sticks for sure. Yeah. You know? For sure. That's hilarious. You get those I stack forgot, sticks. I forgot about it. Did we do something afterwards? They're loaded. Uh, No, because it was kind of late. Yeah. We got there right. around seven. Yeah. And... Uh, I think we were there until nine. We stuck around for a bit. I had a few beers. You had a few beers. Some good time. A few. Mm-hmm. Probably. Beers. Probably a few. I didn't drive that that night. A few beers. Ah, yeah. After this, I won't be able to. You're gonna be crashing on my couch oh. tonight. You and Charlie. Aww. He's been sleeping down here. I like hear him like he he falls asleep in my room around like. Did you hear that? That came that out of my me. throat. I was going to say. <laughs> There's a small little alien living in my throat. A little elf? Yeah, Let's see what kind yeah, of initiative that gives you. Uh, <laughs> a frightened has disadvantage oh, to all shit. attack and defense rolls. No. While the source of fear is in fight. Sight. Oh, God. This is so fucking cool, man. That's, yeah, it's badass. I just keep looking at my presents. I was at by the board today. Mm-hmm. and um, Is that where you got this? No, no. I bought that online. Nice. Amazon. Dr. Pastor Johnny Goodrich? That's Dr. Reverend to you. Oh, my. I didn't know you got an upgrade <laughs> Dr. in the- Dr. Reverend John J. Goodrich. What? What's the difference between a reverend and a pastor? Uh, I'm sorry. It's a dumb no, question. No, you know what? I don't know. I think it's just different religions. 
Um, Clayton, call in and let us know. <laughs> I think it's your, it has to do with some of your schooling, too. But be, a pastor is in doctrine, too. I, actually, I don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know anything. Don't I like the packaging, me. man. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to need those baby bags back. You can take everything else. <laughs> I, I'm i pretty sure my mom's going to be using those for... Um, nope, they're mine. They were my presents. I'm not... I'm here. Here. They're mine. I went upstairs and just grabbed the first like gift bags I saw. <laughs> minus fine, the dude. drink one. Your sister so. was actually funny because she came into um, where I worked the other day. Mm-hmm. And she said... Uh, you know, happy blade birthday, blah blah. blah. She's like, I heard Johnny like forgot, and I was like, he didn't forget. He I said, he said, I, he said it on the day, and she was like, I don't know. Sometimes I think he just forgets things because he was talking about getting you a present, and then he just <laughs> never did. No, I told her I was getting the present on your birthday <laughs> because I was like, fuck, I didn't even get him anything <laughs> for his birthday, and I was like, well, I'm gonna see him Friday, yeah, for sure. So I was like, I'll just give it to him then, dude. You know even I mean? if you didn't give me anything. It's the thought of just a happy birthday from Please. my number one bro Please. that gets me all creamy. Oh, Jesus. Remember when I made that uh, the Pokemon Photoshop for you? I made it my cover picture for the on longest Facebook? time. Yeah, and no it shit. actually came up as a memory. Let me. Is it on your... Did I, let me I wonder... Your, I don't have the memory still. Yo, but I bet I can bring it up because I have on my... on your... Your picture's on Facebook, isn't it? Yeah, it should be under my like old see. cover. I'll pull it up on the big screen. That's hilarious. I, I made this like massive Photoshop of Mike... With all these Pokemon and like the Pokemon universe. It was dope. It was pretty cool. It took me... I used to love doing that shit. Just fuck... When I had a lot of free time. Yeah. I would just love to fuck around and put like people's face on stuff. Like I would do all sorts of dumb, stupid shit. I can't find uh, it. You know what came up when I searched your name? Don't say it. <laughs> the get well, micro laid. Yes, I know. Because <laughs> you probably were oh. on there the longest it's ever seen action. Oh, where is it? Mm. Wow. You've got a lot of... Interest. <laughs> Mike's harder lemonade. Damn, son. eight percent alcohol. Gundam warning style. You got all sorts of cool stuff. I like how here. it says warning contains alcohol. Oh, here it is. Go ahead. This one's pretty good, actually. Dude, I love it. Look at me. And you're like, you're like laying on Snorlax's tummy. I'm like, yeah. Oh yes. Fucking cool. Pretty fun. I had to download that font too. Oh, because it's a Pokemon. Font. Yeah, and then yeah. I and then I just looked at like I Look think it was like, Magic Carp in the yeah. background. I just looked up like eight bit <laughs> like foreground or something that is like that. old that's high school this mike is old, old, old that is look at that that's funny that's that's college mike. that's yeah. college mike laying on i didn't change too much <laughs> pretty fun though i had a good time making that <laughs> it was uh pretty funny it was oh, a fun little gift look at all that here. look at that how do i get out of here how did i get here what's that rick and morty oh my god how did they get there <laughs> remember that the, show, the intergalactic tv or whatever mm -hmm. how did she which get we there? need to catch up man we I have haven't not watched any of it. No, it's, none it's not of on them. Hulu. I don't think. I keep seeing memes where it's like Morty, and it's like you son of a bitch. I'm in. Yeah, I and don't know what that is. It was one where it's like every time I leave the couch, my dog. You son of a bitch. Oh, I'm yeah. in. <laughs> I saw that, but I don't know the reference. I don't either. We need to. I tell you what, we'll try. I'll try and see if I can't find like a website we can start watching them on. We'll have like a viewing night that's together. What I, yeah, dude, you can come on over. We'll crack yeah. open a few cold hard one mm -hmm. with the boys. Maybe play some Smash Brothers afterwards. I'm in. I almost bought you. I almost had to text Mel and ask her. You have four. Do you have four Switch controllers? No. Fuck. Switch controllers. Like you have two. You don't have two more, do you? No. Okay. I just have, I almost bought you because it extras. comes with the two, mm -hmm. and then. I don't have another two. I have two pro controllers. Yeah. That's expensive, dude. I almost got... I was thinking about getting you those. Dang. I appreciate because, like to drop some cash on me, no, but oh my God. Because I feel like you uh, always have people over playing that shit. So I'd be like, that'd be a fun thing to have. Yeah. Have four players playing Super Smash. Yeah. Not me. Playing Super Smash. Not me. Not I'm saying. Anyway, um, what has been going on, dude, for a whole week? I know you texted me earlier like, man, not a whole lot happened this past week. I was like, I know. This week, <laughs> this week fucking sucked. It's been eight days of just cloudiness it's been it awful freaking depressing is right what it is i feel like the days haven't progressed i feel like i'm still in the same spot last week i feel like we never left i know monday just felt it felt like monday all week yeah it was awful yeah no seriously i was like what the fuck man i was like i couldn't believe today was friday yeah i woke up and i was like hmm. thank god yeah <laughs> oh you're not fucking around um so it was my birthday sunday <laughs> yeah. we celebrated that um sunday <clears throat> sorry uh, Friday, I was here mm -hmm. all night. Um, I Living got home up. and I went to fuck to sleep. That's because we we were podcasting late that night. We Casey were. Mel came by, we hung for a little bit, and then mm -hmm. we podcasted some more. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, went to bed and then Saturday um, didn't do much during the day. Was playing some Call of Duty. Had to get that 
That crossbow, Jesus baby. Christ. I had to get that crossbow. Didn't I, say, didn't I bet you that night that you wouldn't be able you to get did. it in a day? And you freaking did. Yeah. Because Nick Matthias was like, I'm already halfway there. You could, you should be able to do it in a night. And I was like, fuck him. I'm going to do it. insane? <laughs> I still haven't gotten it done. I've played like a lot. You can uh, manipulate it and do it fast if you want to. You can kind of cheat. I figured out a good way to do it. So I was going to tell you this in my weekly breakdown, but Call of Duty just came out with, as of yesterday... They have hardcore shipment, Ooh. oh, which is no. one shot kills with everything, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, oh no. So what I it I was killing it, going hard in the paint with Luke and Ethan last night. Hard in the paint? Yeah, dude. What the fuck does that mean? You never heard that? You go hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. It's a basketball reference. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. Needs to be like a slogan <laughs> for our podcast. Pretty sure. I'm almost 99% positive. But, Look it up. But dude, it was insane. And what I figured out was you just lay down mm-hmm. in like that oh, little yeah. cross section of the shipping containers, mm-hmm. sit there with your marksman rifle and just pop people off because they're looking for people walking. Marksman so. rifles are usually one shot kills. Yeah, exactly. But they're all bolt action. Yeah. Or like lever. Yeah. Well, what, which one were you using? The lever, the carbine. Oh. With the, with the reflex so, scope, you have to have that on there. Yeah, in order to count. The way to do it very quick yeah. is that it's not good for your win-loss ratio. Mm-hmm. But what you do is you get into a game, you get five kills, oh, you back you dip out. out? Yeah. That counts? It counts. Wow. Because I was experimenting before we played Saturday night. Because no we, we had a crazy fucking that night. That worked? Yeah, it worked. What the fuck? I feel... So- but then, yeah, you're not getting... Because all- I got so much experience in those games. You though. are. I'm so almost I- level 100. I'm just saying... <laughs> I'm just saying, like, uh, if you want to get the crossbow quickly, that's okay. one way to do it. Do you know this is the most level, like, ranked I've been since, like, high school when I played Call of Duty? I believe... We've been playing a lot. That's true. I mean... Na- now that we can play with literally anybody, like it's yeah, nice that's, just that, like that's it. I think that's where everything fucked up in the past. No one wanted to play, right? Well, at least us, because everyone has different consoles. Like back in the day, everyone just had Xbox Live. At least my close friends. Oh, you didn't. I didn't. But your close never friends played, did. That's I never fine. played with you. I'm in sure high you would have remembered their I'm birthdays. Like freshman <laughs> in eighth grade year. I didn't even know you then. Okay, hard in the paint. It's to approach a problem, obstacle, or challenge with supreme confidence of success through a commitment to use all facilities available to oneself uh, to achieve a goal. Hardcore. Uh, go, <laughs> hardcore fun. Hardcore deep death Fire match. That describes to, to score in a crowded, highly contested ar- area directly under immediately adjacent raised hoop on a basketball court or painted area. Okay. So it has something to do with the painted I mean, Fucking you saying you approach it with supreme confidence. That way, you were. That's what you were saying. So that makes sense. I I'll give it to you. Hard. You went <laughs> hard. In I the was paint. like first place, like two or three rounds. Damn. Like some good kills. What I did was I was using that stupid little Uzi because it just shoots so fast. It sprays. Yeah. yeah. But you got to watch out because if you kill your teammates, that's what happens. You get you get, you get two. No, you don't get kicked anymore. You get what? two. What? You get two freebies of killing your teammate. Yeah. Like they die. Yeah. You don't. And then as soon as you start shooting your teammate, you take damage. No shit. Yeah, so you'll just die if you shoot them. It sucks. No, I like that a way better. No, because on shipment, you're like running around, and you don't know if it's your teammate or not. Right. So I'll just blast him with a shotgun, and <laughs> I'll die. No, but like... Oh, fuck me. In the past, when you'd play like... I think this was World War Two. Yeah. Hardcore. Whenever you'd kill your teammate, you get two free, and then the next one, you just get kicked. Yeah, you were out. So the fact that you get to stay in the game, even though you die, like is really nice. It, it is. Because you don't get your experience taken away. You don't get a loss immediately. Because that's what it was. I think they fixed that problem pretty nicely, though. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's cool. I'm going to have to hop on tonight and start spraying pro- around, baby. I'll probably be on tonight. Baby. Let me know if you get on, dude. I will. I bet you um, dumb bitch Ro will be on. Nobody likes Ro. Yeah, you're right. Ro's pretty good. He's not bad. No, he's better than I am. He was placing first whenever we were playing. That's true. He got to rename our group, which we'll talk about. <laughs> it's just some bullshit. I came in last on the last. Dude, I was so mad. I wasn't even enjoying it that last game. Because Casey and Cole were beating me, and I was like, come on, John. Why does that matter? I was like, I can at least get maybe fourth place. Why am I in last place? Dude, even if I didn't get any kills, it's still fun just playing with it you is. guys. It's fun to bust No balls. one cares that, I know. like, score-wise. It's a personal Except thing. Nick. Nick cares yeah, a dude, lot. he's hardcore. <laughs> Nick really cares. He's fucking hard. hard. But he no goes one- hard <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> but no one else gives a shit. Like, we could all be 0-32 and, and lose yeah, a game, but it'd true. still be fun. Except for Nick. Except for Nick. <laughs> 
He's but the like, one who's like, come on, boys, we got to step it up. We're like losing in domination. I get like I scared like, right, with Nick. I'll get my right shield out, I guess. If it's like catching. close and Nick's like screaming, I'm like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I better step it up. And then I get scared and I start like plotting down mm-hmm. and don't move. And I'm like, oh, no. Well, what sucks with that hardcore too is like I was push, putting down like, I, w- I got the veto like three or four times. Nice. But then I would get the airstrikes. And it would just kill like all my team too. So I'd die. Like oh, I would yeah. spawn, die, spawn, yeah. die because it was just bombs dropping. What if the sentry gun targets teammates I don't in think hardcore? So. I don't think so. I don't have veto. I my highest kill streak is sentry gun. What's that? Seven kills? Yeah. What? Come on, you're better than that. I I don't get long kill kills. Streaks, really? I usually I'm such a quick running gun. I usually get like a few and then I die and then yeah. I get a few. Okay. Like I just I don't sit around and just like kind of snipe mm. off people to where I get high kill streaks. I'm like running around doing objectives. Okay. So that's more my you. play style. I got you, bro. Unless it's the bridge, then I just plot then, down and I take the sniper rifle then out. Then you just kind of take it, it easy. Day. Or the yeah. cave. Sometime in the cave, the I'll cave. get a little. Stay the fuck out of my cave. That's what my shirt should be. <laughs> <sighs> it's just you like poking your head Casey, out. Casey, you can make that on your cricket, right? <laughs> Stay out of my cave. That'd be a good birthday present. It's me present. like pe- peering out, like on the side of the shirt, like out of a door frame. Stay out of my cave. There you go. Not a door frame, a cave frame. I know. Something. Just like some rocks. Cave I frame. Pho- I'll Photoshop it. Anyway, not to get too off track nah, here. That's good. We can always get off track with you. Call of Duty. Um, we went to, Mal and I, one of my favorite restaurants is Texas Roadhouse. I've is only been there really? twice in my life, including this one okay, time. So this is your favorite restaurant, huh? Yeah. Well, I think this, Stacks, Stacks. Outback Steakhouse, that like in the Texas Roadhouse, those are all pretty like top Stacks, tier. I think is my number one. Stacks is my number one too. Dude, but I have, I think I've told you this. I have like seventy five dollars for Outback. You keep telling and me this gift cards, and you're like, we should go. We and should. Then we never go. We should definitely go. Sometime. That's what we'll go next week. Then I'm down. I'll pay for everyone's Ooh. drinks because I have fucking fat stacks of gift cards. All what did you get to eat? Right. Oh man, I just pulled up their menu on the computer. <laughs> They're steak looks awesome it is look at that dallas filet so i got i always get the the texan combo oh shit which allows you to get two things i get the chicken tenders like the crispers okay as well as a six ounce steak oh, did you so you got a steak and huh? then two uh, uh two sides okay. i chose uh steak fries all right good and choice. i chose mashed potatoes with gravy i agree for an appetizer we had uh, uh fried pickles which i know you don't like Ooh. but no but it's still good still good Country um, dinner side. So I think it's cu- country dinners. That's country dinners. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back up. Go back Ooh, up. Ooh, we country fried sirloin. It's under uh, combos. Mm. Combos. Ca- 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 combos. Combos. Chicken, Chicken critter combos. That's, That's what, you got. what it is, but baby. You got steak instead of ribs. Yeah, I got steak instead of ribs. Holy shit. You can get grilled barbecue chicken combos. Wow. You can get I don't I don't care for shrimp Dude. so I didn't get shrimp. Okay, but. I'm with you. I never usually and get it's, seafood. It's not too bad. It's like 17 bucks. That's not bad at all. No, for a steak and some little chicken Bro. fritters. Oh, look at their cocktails. These look kind of fun. The only thing is you can't reserve seats like yeah. ahead of time. It has to be an hour. Oh, they're shit. like within an hour. So like if you call at five, guys go at five. You can't be like we're gonna come at seven. You can't do that. It's like an Applebee's kind of deal. You just kind of go in and see what's available. Right. This place was. Packed, man. When we went in there, Mal called ahead. Is that right off the same road that your complex is on? Is off that, of 30, yeah. It's off 30, okay. Mm-hmm. So we got there, and it was just pa- You could not move. There were so many people. Texas there was probably, Roadhouse. Yeah. There was probably, honestly, 100 people just in the waiting room. Dude. And then we got called like 10 minutes in, and we're trying to make our way into the restaurant, and people are coming out. There's only oh. one exit and entrance. They were slammed, So huh? it was stand still. And these two old people, Ladies, <laughs> you were gonna say bitches. These old bitches. I'll say it for you. It's fine. Sorry for the spike there. That's hilarious. They were gonna fucking kill each other, Johnny. One why? So everyone's like trying to get places, but everyone's literally blocking everyone. It w- it was your worst nightmare. Oh, honestly, yeah, I'd be like, I'd just start plowing through because I'd be getting claustrophobic. <laughs> I was, picture these two old women with walkers like playing chicken, basically. Just like they going both had like, canes. <laughs> And one woman, she was like, get out of my way. I'm trying to get out of here. And this other old woman in front was like, me too. And she's like, don't push me. And pushed her back. <gasps> no and she's way. like, bitch, you going to. You should have started handing out cards for your I'm over in the corner. I'm like, fight, 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 fight. fight, fight. fight. <laughs> You're taking money for bets. Dude, like, I you? thought they were going to kill each other. They finally got through. And some guy was like pushing me to get through. We were on our way to get to our waitress to go to our table. Wow. And some guy's pushing me. He's like, hey, I'm trying to get through. And I look back. And I'm like, hey, 
Me too. It's my fucking birthday, bitch. I'm like, it's my you birthday, kiss, bitch. You kiss him on the lips. I hey. should. I should. That's what I should do. I should shout. I'm like, it's my birthday. I told now. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I told now. I was like, if we leave and that's the same situation, you're gonna put your purse in your shirt. We're gonna get like water, like a water bottle, and we're gonna like fucking oh run it down God. you. I'm gonna be like, we gotta get out. Her water broke. She just broke. Her water just broke. She's we super gotta get pregnant. going. We gotta get going. Skinny ass mouth. She just looks pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> i know but we were gonna play that card oh my god dude funny story texas roadhouse like five or six years ago cole and i and our now ex-girlfriends went to texas roadhouse they had i think it was like two dollar margaritas mm. yeah or some shit like that yeah and we got like a few <laughs> of them and the and the wait cole like got one he's like yeah uh or he had like half of one left he's like could i get another margarita she's like i think you're all right for now and cole's like Oh, uh, excuse- <laughs> he got like technically cut off at a, at Texas Roadhouse for margaritas. He's like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> and like we can we can hold our liquor pretty well too. So we weren't like fucking around or anything or causing a scene. Like we were, and we were getting dinner too there. But so, like, were you? Because if both yeah, of you were slammed, I feel we like weren't. you wouldn't know. We weren't. We we weren't slammed. I think I ended up getting like the. I think I got ribs <laughs> that night too. Nice. But yeah, we had like I got like one margarita because they give me heartburn. They're super sugary. Yeah. So I got like beers after that. But the lady was like, I think you're good for now. Once you finish that, I was like, what the fuck? He's like, excuse me? But she yeah, didn't get is, no tip that night. This is what they look like, the original mm-hmm. rocks of margarita. It's a good restaurant. It's These always good. Uh, Mal did have a slight problem with her food, though. What'd she have? So she had, I don't remember, but she had mashed potatoes was one of her side as well. Okay. She actually had two sides of mashed potatoes, if Respect. we're being real. Yeah. She had creamy gravy and gravy gravy. Oh. Um, but in one of the bowls she was eating, she like bit into it and then she pulled out. It was bowl? like uh, just a bowl. Like a KFC bowl? Like one of the or it was like, like a, the, a dinner plate. What was she eating out of it? What? Mashed potatoes. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. All right. But she pulled out porcelain. From her mouth, she like bit into port. It was like broken plate was in the mashed potatoes. Oh, she should, have, she should have, yeah. She should have sued the shit out of them. So, try saying that five times fast. She tried to. Sh- she should have sued the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> she should have sued. The- Just the hardest thing came <laughs> to my funny. mind. Everyone who's driving, listening she to this, tried to sue the shit out of them. She tried to shoot a she shit. Sh- shit. Yeah. <laughs> she shat herself in sheer shame. Well, she told the waitress, she's like, "Hey, porcelain," and she's like, "Oh shit, I'll get you some new mashed." potatoes she brought new mashed potatoes she didn't potatoes. they didn't actually uh compensate us in any way they were like they didn't take them like, off bitch th- did mallory say she didn't say anything like it was your birthday Ma- or anything, right? mal and i are not very confrontational people okay. so neither of us said anything she mentioned it so she could get new mashed potatoes but like we didn't make a <laughs> yeah, scene yeah, we're yeah. like what the fuck like, we should have no you, she didn't like mention anything and be like hey can you come out and sing to him it's no his okay mallory I like knows that. She knows that I hate that, and she'd never do that to me. And I'd never do it to her, vice versa. I agree. I don't like that shit, except for last year. We went out to Mi Ranchito for my 26th, and I was like, hey, guys, like I told my mom and dad, I was like, please don't tell them it's my birthday, because I have to put the stupid, like, the fucking... Sombrero. The sombrero on. Mm -hmm. They turn the lights off. Everyone in the dining room looks at you. (laughs) Um, And then, like... I was like opening gifts. I like opened a card for my grandma and our server was like, oh, is it your birthday? Mm-hmm. And the guy, I've, <laughs> oh, no. I've seen the guy there before. He's like, you want a free shot of tequila? Ooh. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I want a free shot of tequila. <laughs> and not knowing they came out with like a candle and a tequila glass with the hat. I was like, God, you you tricked me. <laughs> I trusted you. You got bamboozled. Senor. <laughs> Why? Por qué? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, so we did that, and then the next morning, my birthday, um, Mallory got me so she got me some Pokemon cards uh, mm. that I special ordered. It's to complete like a old set that I'm trying to do. What was the uh, what was the set? It was like base set, base okay. set, fossil, jungle, like the three first. Sets. Oh shit! So the she got OG me ones. the OG. She got me 15 cards where that I was get, missing. Where do you get those? Toadandtroll.com. You can order old packs. They're like unopened packs. You can do that too. Wow. But she got me like individual ones, the okay. ones specifically that I needed. How much are like the, the packs that aren't opened? Are they expensive? It ranges, dog. Like so, what, what, is it, what does it start at? If it's an unweighed base set, yeah, it's probably like 30, 50 bucks. Whoa. If it's weighed to where it's like less, it's like 20 bucks still. And okay. if it's weighed and it's heavy, it's, a lot it's like more. $300. <gasps> Holy fuck. Yeah. 
They're expensive. We can actually look at that during break and Jesus. see how much they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's pricey, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But, but um, so she got me those, um, which I was really happy with. And she also got me a shirt, which the one she posted. You're no. Oh, oh. Which she posted on Facebook. It's literally bold and brash. I love that shirt, <laughs> from dude. Where the fuck did she find that at? She found it at a uh, Hot Topic. That made my day. It's when just I saw this big old square, <laughs> and it's just literally bold and brash. And at the under, it's like uh, scuba tentacles, yeah, uh, canvas, like yeah. oil. And I went around telling her grandparents, uh, "It's like, yeah, this is my favorite artist. Like, this is my the painting that I scuba really tentacles. like." <laughs> And they're like, oh, wow. That's really nice, That's Mike. That's really nice. For those of you that don't know the reference, to SpongeBob, like, he, he, like, had himself painted. Or is it a portrait of himself? It's a portrait he of Squidward. He, okay. like, teaches SpongeBob in art class. And he's like, and he tries to show, like, this big-time guy who comes and he's like, I call this one bold and brash. <laughs> yes, and dude. he's like, more like belongs in the trash. <laughs> so Mal so got great. me that. Loved it. She also took me to Jelly's that morning mm. for breakfast. Got some pancakey cakes. What'd she get? Did she get the same pancakes? She got crepes. Ooh. She got like a uh, strawberry crepe All right. kind of, I think. What'd you get? What kind of pancakes? Chocolate chip. Oh, fuck, With man. some whipped cream. And she brought out fresh whipped cream, so it was nice God and cold. Dang. Some powdered sugar, <sighs> some syrup, and some butter. You didn't do any like sides? Like, I got oh, the diabetes. Oh, my God. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> I got diabetes. A uh, side of bacon. <laughs> okay, that's what I was just going to ask. Did you get like, a nice hash brown? Pepsi to bring oh it Oh, my up? God. To bring it home, baby. Diabetes. Oh, well. Diabetes. <laughs> Good birthday, man. You got to yeah. celebrate a little bit. And then we went to her grandparents uh, for gifts and cake. Nice. Had an ice cream cake. What, from DQ? From DQ. What kind? Got that log, baby. <sighs> Do you remember? <sighs> were you with us when we finished that the log of ice cream cake at DQ, me and Matthias? Yes. And then Cole joined us. Cole joined us. That's, That's right. a legendary story. That's a great I can't photo. believe you forgot you if I was there. We had to have talked about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we definitely did. Excuse, Excuse me. you. Oh, don't even come Mike's at me like that, dude. <laughs> You're always here like, oh, Mike. I did like a sweeping one. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we, we fucking demolished that log. If you didn't listen, uh, episode 16 I bet of the Cyber City Podcast is the ice cream log story. We had to call in. Well, I think it just worked out that Cole like showed up. That kid can eat ice he cream. He He's did. always like been an ice cream eater. Yeah. I can't eat that much, man. It gives me brain freeze. And I'm just not like super. Appetized you don't think by you, me, we, you know what we should do, Nick? Next time you recreate are in town, it. we need to recreate that photo. <laughs> oh, I won't eat <laughs> all day. You have to eat the log. I won't eat all day. Then I'll just come in and just Dude, pound some. We ice have to cream do it. Cake. It'd be funny. And we have to do shit, it in man. the in the same like little, the little booth area. Little booth yeah, that we do. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Should podcast from there. Live podcast from, from the Queen? DQ. Man, Zane used to work there. He could have hooked oh, us up. Fuck. We knew, I knew a bunch of people that worked at DQ back in high school. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Man, get extra candy and cookie pieces in your blizzards. <laughs> it's fucking days, man. But that yeah. was uh, that was my birthday weekend. Sounds fun. Also, all right, let's get this out of the way. Okay. So my birthday was Sunday. The Lord's Day. Something else happened Sunday. Kobe. Kobe died. Damn, your birthday was... You celebrated Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then like... Your birthday we, was Saturday though, right? No, my or, birthday was, was Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. I think you share a birthday with a famous comedian that I listen to his podcast. I think. That's odd. And he was talking about the same thing, Brian Callen. Yeah. So they were talking about the same thing. He was like, it was my birthday. Everyone was bummed out about Yeah, Kobe. that's what I said. Like Kobe, halfway through. kids that died on a it's helicopter. It's like Kobe passed away, which, you know, what a tra- RIP, pour one out into our mouths for Kobe. What a tragic way to go. RIP, man. Crazy. I'll, I'll still say Kobe oh, when I take yeah. a shot. It's just nuts that all those kids. I know. It's heartbreaking that his daughter, because you see a bunch of They're like- They're so uh, cute together. I know. And it turns out, I don't know if this is true or not. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm 99% sure, but yeah, don't quote don't me. Don't quote me on this. Someone at work was telling me that um, him and his wife always had a pact mm-hmm. to never fly together or like go on transportation together. It's smart. And that was the exact reason that they didn't want their kids to be left alone because he has other children. Yeah, he's got maybe two more kids. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, what a tragedy, man. And he was just like, he was doing that because he was like a family guy and wanted to get back and forth. Right. Instead of sitting in LA traffic. So, Crazy. 2020 is fucked right now. We got yeah. the coronavirus. We got what Kobe's death. Yeah, man. Man, there's a lot of shit going on. Doesn't the coronavirus sound kind of like satisfying I, and refreshing? Dun, 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 Sounds like, a, dun, dun, like you'd dun, be sitting dun, on the beer with a, or sitting on the beach with a beer. Yeah, with the yeah. corona. If the I, coronavirus. Yeah. 
But so I found that out midway through my birthday. I was like, that well, sucks. fuck this. This sucks. That sucks, man. Yeah. I, yeah. It does. It sucks. Um, but yeah. So that was really my birthday. We hung out with our grandparents. Uh, got back home, took a bath with a bath bomb, and we <laughs> just called it a night. Did you yeah. Snapchat that? Did I? The bath bomb? Probably. I don't know. It what was color the, was it? It was purple. It was lavender. Ooh, I Ooh, like a lavender. Lavender. Like a good lavender. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, so that was my birthday. I really had a good birthday. It was nice Sounds and quiet. Like, Mallory so, made it really nice for me. I like it. it sounded um, like a great time, though. You had family and a little bit of food the night before and a good breakfast. Oh, yeah. Some salad Is it gifts. Just some good food during the weekend, man. I'm, I, I love a good meal. Love a good hot meal. Mm-hmm. And a lot of Call of Duty with friends during the weekend that as well. That was fun. Yeah. Monday night, we played COD. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said it like that. COD. COD. We had COD. COD. And then uh, the only thing I really did through this weekend, so Mallory's at uh, rehearsal now for her musical. For Mary Poppins. For Mary Poppins. Which we're going to see. Yeah, boy. Mike. We're going to podcast there yeah. during the performance. Mike, myself, and my mom are going to see Mary Poppins. Like the trio. Dude, Holy we're going to get right dinner there, beforehand, baby. too, I think. So we need to figure out where we want to go for dinner. Definitely stacks. You think? <laughs> no. I was like, damn, probably it might take not. a little bit of a time. Um, but what I've been doing since Mal's been gone, I've been kind of experimenting with my air fryer. Oh, yeah, dude. So I bought from Strax uh, chicken. It was like the chicken tenders, but like. With the breasts? The breasts, mm. yeah. Put them in there. What'd you put on them? Do you put any? Please tell me you put some seasoning. I on. marinated them, bro. <gasps> that a boy. So I got I'm proud Frank's, of you now. I got Frank's buffalo sauce. Nice. Put it in a plastic baggie. I put just a touch of Tabasco sauce right, on it. Right. Salt, pepper, yep. a little bit, just a tad of garlic powder. Okay, just a little bit, I'm and then it. a spoonful, literally a spoonful of mustard, just for a little Ooh. tang. Rubbed it all together. Put my chickies in there. Marinated them. Put them in the air fryer then the oh, next day. You got to let them sit. You got to let them sit for 24, 24 hours. Is that what they said? No. Oh, I was But like, I mean, I did, so the did? flavor can get kind of in. Okay. Put them in the air fryer, 10 minutes, flip them over five, done in 10 minutes. Wow. Brah. Was they it good? Were, they didn't look good. Oh, yeah, but that's how a lot of but food they is. they were so good. Yeah. That Frank's hot sauce like made its way in. That's the best part of it. So they were naked. But, I mean, Ooh. they had so much flavor yes. on them because of the sauce. That's what I do on the grill, man. You just got to marinate Whoa. the shit out I tell you what. It's good stuff. I've never done chicken in the air fryer. You need to try. I need, yeah. I'm going to get, like, fat chicken breasts. Yeah, but... or do thighs, man. That's what I like because they're juicier. Thighs? Yeah, boneless, I'll try them. boneless thighs. That's okay. all I eat. I mean, they're a little bit fattier, but they're good. Ooh. Yeah, bro. And then for the first time ever... I made hamburgers in the air fryer. That I haven't tried either. That's awesome. They came out good. Yeah. Um, not as good like on the and the grill, in my opinion. They probably came out more of like a meatloaf. Am I right? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. They came mm-hmm. out better than what I've tried to make on the stove before. Yeah, that's tough. But I mean, I mean, they came out like patties, and uh-huh. they were good. They were well done. That's I fine. need to put them in for less time. Yeah, it's tough with that kind of stuff because you got to like literally take it out and cut it. Right. If you don't have a little meat thermometer or whatever. Well, I got that meat thermometer. Ooh, wait. Did mm-hmm. you use it for That's the chicken? That's what they called me back in oh, high God. school. That's old meat thermometer that would be crawl. A great nickname. Imagine. Dude, that'd be a good gamer tag. Meat thermometer. Meat thermometer. Oh, God. I read in Fahrenheit oh. and Celsius, bitch. <laughs> Let Yo, me a little bit of Mike's, my- <laughs> little bit of Mike's gets me going. You're zinging and zanging now. That would be an epic fuck. Can you imagine being sixteen year old being called a meat, meat thermometer? thermometer? <laughs> the girls unless are like, it was, Ooh. unless it was like in a bad and the guys context. are like, Ooh. like you got caught like fucking a chicken or something. Oh like my that. god! Are using a thermometer and just like putting oh, it in your butt like a meat thermometer up your ass? Oh god! But man, that was pretty much my week. It was nice and low key. You Had a cooked. good time. You were cooked. the chef of the week here. Yeah, huh? I watched a lot of Netflix since Mal's not been around. That's fine. But uh, what'd you watch? I watched The Circle. Have you heard of that? Uh uh-uh. uh So. That when I first like saw it, I was like, "Man, this is stupid as fuck." Yeah. And then like last night was the finale, and I'm like sitting there all excited <laughs> eating like, popcorn. <gasps> yeah, it's all into it. It's weird because, and I'll ask you at the end. It's weird because it's like a bunch of people who are in this like apartment complex or hotel, mm-hmm. and they're living in these rooms, and they're with other contestants. But the only way they can converse with each other, talk to each other, is through like social media, oh, that's which is like weird. the circle. Okay, and you can post pictures and like private chat people, group chat people, and you can either play as yourself, uh-huh. or you can play as someone like a catfish. You can completely Ooh. like make a profile, and whoever is the most popular player, like uh, 
wins basically okay and the least popular gets uh the two people on top get to choose who to block to send home do they die oh they send them home they send them home they die is this a reality yeah it's like a a reality it's like a game show more so that's kind of fun so i thought it was like gonna be one of those weird twists where like if you don't win, you go. You get no, no, meat this grinder. is real. Okay. No, no, no. I was like, <laughs> God damn, it's like some. This is real, but um, it's just very interesting because of how people like play themselves or play others. Sure. So if you were in this game, mm-hmm. like, and you like the most popular person won, and you're playing against other people, would you play as yourself, yeah. or would you try and like make I'd like a super hot girl or nah. super like hot well, guy? That'd be tough, man, because people. People love hot girls. People do like hot girls, but people like... No um, one hates a hot girl. I, I'll tell you I that. Know. I don't know. People like people who are um, real, too, though, like insincere. And like, uh, I don't know. I, that's why I think people like podcasts so much. Yeah. Because it's just like nitty gritty. Like, you really get to know the person. Like, you're not putting on an act. You're not a character in something. So no. You know what I mean? And even if it wasn't, like, we're just talking to each other. It's like the curtains are pulled back and you're just hanging out. So yeah. I think I would be myself, but I would just do some fucking crazy shit online <laughs> to get a lot of, like, views and maybe well, the, some traction. The only thing is that you, the only thing you can do is, like, talk to each other, post, like, some video, some pictures when it allows you. And only the people and, in the circle can like and, like, respond. Right. Oh, it's wow. only them. It's, like, only a small group of people. And there's, like, games you play, like, uh, who would, uh, like, uh three truths and a lie okay um they did like an artist thing where they have to draw their players and the, like you the, vote on yeah them. it's well, like the, little games that kind of we play on the podcast well, the interesting thing about that is like if you were to be a catfish and be like a super hot girl yeah like the intentions of people or like people liking hot girls online are like their intentions are like especially guys just to see the they, profile no they want to f- they want to fuck that girl oh you know what I mean? Like they're like, holy shit, this girl is a beautiful. Maybe she'll see my like. And there's like twenty thousand people. <laughs> but oh. if you're just in a game show like that, Fuck. sex is basically off the table. I'd imagine. Like you're not Pretty gonna much. you're not gonna date the person or like going. There's a, cameras all over the place. Yeah, it's probably not, not. It's not gonna happen. Nah. So I would definitely not be a hot girl. I don't think in that situation. I don't okay. know. You'd be yourself. I would. You should check out just an episode to kind of get the, the feel circle? for it. the circle. I'll write it down. All right. I'll you won't it watch it. It's fine. <laughs> Forgot. So I'm gonna spoil a little bit of okay. it. Um, but the like final people, yeah. most of them are the real people. Real. They're yeah. not catfish. Okay. So like genuine, like the genuine, genuine yeah. like personality of people really shone through because they got through. It makes sense. But it's an interesting show. That's what I was watching while I was eating my air fried chicken, my air fried hamburgers nice. while it's Mal's like, gone. It's like a social. That sounds like a social experiment, kind of. It basically is, mm-hmm. which was interesting to see, like. Who elevated, who didn't. The first guy that I saw, like, I hated him. He was, like, a bro. Oh, yeah. So, people, hey! They don't do well unless you're, like, on the Jersey Shore or something. But then, shit. like, I really, like, he turned into, like, my favorite you person. You liked him? I really did. Oh, my God. It was crazy. That's fucking funny. So, Did you uh, air fry your buns for your for your hamburgers? I didn't have buns. I just had uh, you said bread. bread. So I kind of, I, I did the poor man's burger. I got you, I got you. Know? you. Dude, but, the bun makes it. You're right. You, you you're put right. a little bit of onions on there, and you're in good shape. Maybe, maybe a little bit of lettuce. A little bit of gas. A little bit of gas. A little bit of gas. I'm putting garlic on him. <laughs> you ever do White Castle? Oh, dude, my dad had it for breakfast today. Yeah, well, you clear out the fucking He's room. He's crazy. He is crazy. He's like, hey, because I worked with him today. He's like, hey, we're going to stop and get something on the road. I was like, I'm making eggs real fast before we go, because I don't want to shit my pants halfway through the day. <laughs> and he stopped and got White Castle breakfast. And I was like, you're insane. I was like, how are you eating that? <laughs> Damn, dude. But he can handle it. My stomach, not so much. I don't you, know. you got a weak tum tum. I do. I love you, man, but you got a weak tummy. It's, it's bad. I think I have some weird IBS thing, like mild IBS maybe. What's IBS? Irritable bowel syndrome. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure my mom does too. And my 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 uncle definitely has, like he had, like my uncle and my cousin, I think they have Crohn's, so that's all, like what Tyler kind of has. Mm. It's all fucked up. We better get over that by the time we eat our ice cream log dog. Shit. But how was your week, man? How um, was your uh your how was your oh yeah, you went you went a little bit of a little bit of hunting this No, weekend. I did a little fishing. Oh fishing, sorry. Ooh, Same thing. I, I almost, mean you're hunting fish. Yeah, yeah. So technically yeah, I guess you're right. I uh what was it, last Sunday? Last Sunday I went fishing. Um trying to think what we did though during the week. Monday night we played Call of Duty. Saturday and, and Monday, we yes. had we had quite the uh, the COD experience, the Call of Duty experience. Yeah, we played Monday this last Monday. 
And we did, yeah, you're right. We did play Saturday, but Monday everyone was on. It was Casey, myself, everyone, Mike, yeah. Roe, Cole, and Matthias. It's weird to hear you talk to me in third person. I know, right? Mike, <laughs> Mike who's also sitting here. No. Uh, but we played, and we played for the honor of naming our Snapchat group message. Yeah. Which Matthias won the first one. And he named it, but then Ro took all the marbles. He did. And he ended up naming it. Or no, wait, did Matthias win it? <laughs> uh, Ro won it. Ro won the first one. Matthias That's won the second it. one. That's it. So Ro put John is <laughs> John equals the worst COD player for the first one. Yeah. And then now it's called I like Chuck better than John. So I don't understand why I am the punching the punchline of all of our group names. I don't but know. it's fine. I feel like I like you, the attention. It's I cool. was gonna say I feel like you take the punch the best, and people. Yeah, I don't know. You're just fun to pick on Between because Ro no one I, means it. Between Ro and I, we're the funnest to pick on. I, feel I agree. Like. <laughs> just because you got the, I don't know the widest shoulders. I feel it. Yeah. Um, what the heck? Uh, if I ever is. win, I'll just name it Fuck Ro. Please do. Fuck Ro. Because it's not. I'm not gonna be able to win it, so I'm just putting it out there. You I'll are not just, that bad. I'll text you what you should name it one time. Be like, please name it this. Nick and Ro have just played longer. Dude, they're they, like in their 100. They play. Matthias plays a lot. I don't know about Ro as much. Mm. I'm almost level 100 though. I'm like you, 97. You now. are not by any means a bad player. I just need a good. Like I have my good and bad times, and I think that was just a bad night of COD for me. Yeah. But we played Monday night, and it was a good time. Um, and then. The f- uh, the Sunday before that, I went out fishing with my buddy Zach. Mm-hmm. We went out and fished for coho, and uh, out at Burns Ditch, which flows right into Lake Michigan. Here, I'll give you a nice little Burns vis- Ditch. I'll That's you, kind of ironic. I'll give you a visual cocktails. Um, <laughs> I get your cocktail. Yeah. Um, so it's out of Portage, out by Bass Pro, and uh, it. People, uh, did you see that? That was weird. <laughs> um, what what oh, are you looking oh. up, buddy? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So let me get the actual satellite. Charge port station, baby. Was it cold on Sunday? I can't remember. It was remember. like 35 degrees out, and it started snowing a little bit on us. Um, so I never launched here by myself. I fished here. It's the Portage Burns Waterway. Okay. It's the Portage Lake, Lakefront and Riverwalk. And there's a this is called Burns Ditch, but it's technically like... Cali, the Calumet River. What are those? Oh, U.S. Steel Corporation. So U.S. It's right. All all this over here is the steel mills. Yeah. All of this is private over here. It's gorgeous over here. These are like million dollar houses on Lake Michigan. Damn. But right was, next to the Steel Corporation. That's yeah, kind of weird. Kind of down the street. But we launched right down here, Dwayne's Marina, and we launched and we putted our little my John boat up here, past this bridge all the way up, and then a bunch of people were out fishing from the shore for for salmon yeah. because they run in this time of year mm. and then they run out no they run out this time of year yeah um so everyone was lined up so we i was the only boat out here and i've seen guys out in boats before but uh mm-hmm. a lot of guys fishing the shore so what we use was uh shrimp they say cooked shrimp like little salad shrimp that you get for toppings for salmon yeah and you just like tight line for them you put it on a weight with a nice hook and you just toss it out and sit there and wait and then you can cast like rattle traps and stuff or little diving baits too. You ever try <clears> peanut <throat> butter on a hot dog? No. It probably wouldn't work. I've used it before and I've gotten Fuck very good off. results. I don't believe you. No, yeah. I bet I, I bet a hot dog you might be able to catch something with, but catfish. Yeah. That'd if you put it on us if you put yeah. it on a line, it'll just be Oh, by the way, the one thing that's sacrilegious. <laughs> I will never use peanut butter or a hot dog <laughs> on a Fishing Don't use any time. butter, dude. I won't use for that anytime, anywhere. To, to interrupt you real sure. quick. Sure, I don't care. The thing that I was going to say was illegal was not the Mike's Hard Lemonade thing. What was it? I just didn't want to say it because your mom was here. What is Oh, yeah. She, she comes down here and just listens. I was like, you need to get, get gone. Fun fact, it's illegal in the state of Indiana, this is true, to have sex in any other position other than missionary. Missionary Mike. <laughs> Dropping facts. That's going to be Wait. my Instagram. Uh, on, is that just on Sunday? No, that's every that's day. Everywhere? That's like, you know, if you ever look up like weird laws by states, yeah, yeah, Indiana's yeah. is like, it is illegal. Technically, it is illegal to have sex so your girl in can't any be, other position than missionary. Your girl can't be going reverse cowboy on you. And- Cowgirl. <laughs> hey, it says you. What the fuck is reverse cowboy? <laughs> Could oh, you-, you don't want to know, dude. Wait, would that work? Like if you did, have like you seen- if you were sitting, but like <laughs> also like backwards and your dick would have to like. <laughs> there is a meme on Twitter. And it's like this dude giving a girl basically a windmill. Like he's got her like propped up and he's spinning himself around while he's inside the girl. That can't be like good for her. Insane. She looks like she's enjoying it. I don't know. 
how do you keep a straight face, honestly, when your boy is on you, in you, and then it's like, no, but he, he's behind her. He's behind her. No. And his hip. So here's his oh, he's, piece. Okay. Here's his body. He's going, whoa, whoa, like full 360. <laughs> is he saying that exactly? Yeah, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. It was he's a, behind her? It was, a two Chinese, it was a Chinese couple. Yeah. So is he doing like a, like a, yes, what is it kind of like that cartwheel? almost. Yeah, almost like a cartwheel. But he's like on the. I'd have to show it to you. But I'll try to find I do it. not want to see this. But here's my point. Like, you're not going in and out like you no, should be. You're, you're just kind of spinning. You're rotating the screw. But you're a penis. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that's, like, fun. It's a little bit of friction in there. It's just, like, there. it's the same thing. It's a little bit of friction in there. I disagree. We'll call... You're not as big as me, I if guess. If Mallory was not in theater, <laughs> I'd be like, Mal, would <laughs> me just rotating inside of you be great? She'd be like, it probably wouldn't... She'd, well, she'd be like, eh, it'd be all right. I'd imagine no! her be like, it's, it wouldn't be the worst thing. No, there's no way. We <laughs> Could be worse. No. Let's ask Carol. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mom. Uh, let me call my grandma real quick. If, if your penis... <laughs> <laughs> She's had plenty of experience. Hey, Grandma K. She's married 40, 50 years, whatever. <laughs> No, I'm the Grandpa I'm ever pulled this move off. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, I just wanted totally. I remembered that and That's I was like hilarious. I needed to tell you the truth. That's really funny. Okay. I'm glad sorry. You, I'm glad you did say that though. We're fishing. But we fished and we saw a dude fishing from shore. You think fishing on a boat, like out of a boat, yeah. you have more water to cover, you'd be able to catch more fish than the people on the shore. That was not the um that was not what happened on Sunday. We saw one dude as soon as we pulled up catch like three coho salmon. And uh, I'll show you what they look like. Coho. and They're, they're just silver super, fish, dog. Yeah, pretty much. They're super tasty, though. They're what do they all, taste like? They're, um, I don't know. Fish? Have you ever had salmon? <laughs> Salmon's got a distinct taste to it. This is what a coho That's like. That's like the ugliest fucking fish I've ever but seen they in my fight life. like hell. Look at him. He looks like he's look like. Look at those ah! fillets. Look at how red those fillets Ooh, are. Mama. They're good. But um, we didn't catch shit for like the first three hours. We were out there from like 11 to 4. And then the last hour, I ended up catching one tiny little guy. It was 14 inches is the biggest or the smallest you can keep. And I brought a <laughs> measuring tape. Mine was 13 fucking inches. I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> so we sat out there all day. We tried to like- You nose, didn't get anything? I, I caught one and that was it. We couldn't, we, I couldn't keep it. This hunting slash fishing season it's for you has awful. not been great. It's awful. It's you not, might need you might need to find a different hobby, dude. I need like a uh, cleansing. I need someone to like come and like hit me with some sage Ooh. and like get all the negative crap out of me. I'll do it for you. Okay. I'm part Native American. All right. So I, we'll have to get a bonfire going and you can like, we'll do it right. I'll okay. do ayahuasca and you can like fucking fan me with like shit. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'll get my, uh, I'll get my ritual. Your garb garment. and everything? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we poked our nose out because here's like Michigan over here. We poked our nose out and it was like nice and calm in the ditch. And then we yeah. poked our nose out and we were like, fuck no. Because <laughs> it was like, it's pretty wavy. It was like, <laughs> holy shit. I was shit. like, we're turning around. Zach's <laughs> so like, yeah, we're going to get swamped if we <laughs> hang out over here. But it was fun. We it was kind of windy that day. We had a couple beers and we fished and like hung out. That's always a good then, time. Uh, yeah. And that was Sunday. Saturday, I don't think I did shit. Where'd you go to eat? <clears throat> uh, oh, Saturday. That's right. I went out Saturday with Cole to Mi Ranchito. Nice. Shout out. We had a good time. We always try to get out and get beers and food. And uh, Did we, some guy offer you a free tequila shot? Not this time. I didn't tell him it was my birthday. But um, we went out and I got, oh, shoot. We always get, he gets the Cadillac margaritas. Yeah. And I always get the tall, the giant freaking mugs of Dos Equis. Yeah. And then we get tacos and French fries. And we just shoot the shit, man. It's a good time. And then I'm trying to think what else we did. We had a COD game. Oh, yeah. Hardcore car, COD j- drop. That was that's hardcore deem dead. Bad match. ass. It's hard as fuck. We'll have to play. Yeah. Do you should tonight. So, with uh, hardcore shipment, back in the day when I played World War II, you would yeet. throw a uh, C4. Yes. You would just yeet it over your what? head and then like explode it, and it, you would get like five kills. Uh, not a lot of guys doing that. I saw one dude just running around planting claymores. Ooh. Which I thought was sneaky. Interesting. But he was getting shot a lot, but I think he had some weird thing going where if he died, it, his claymore wouldn't go away. Or some bullshit. So it does linger for a second. That's what it was then. Yeah. Because he kept <clears throat> killing people with it, and it pissed me off. <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. But yeah, man, uh, like I said, I didn't do a whole lot. I've been driving a lot this week. I was downtown the other day. I was, luckily today I stuck around. Swung up to buy the board. That was a good ass time. Talked to the to the owner in there she's super nice oh she's there tonight she was there today yeah. they have a magic tournament going on right now do they yeah how do you know that um i follow them on facebook 
I think. I, I do you? I don't think so. I think yeah. I do. Uh, From seven I o'clock. So much money in that place. I would love just to go there to watch as a spectator, we but I don't want to like take up the hey, room. If we ever uh, get going with that D and D podcast, it'd be fun to do a remote episode there. It would. We could talk to the to the people in there. I'm sure they'd be cool with it. Hundred percent. But the rules are pretty. They have like rules of playing, like no cursing, no, mm. you know what I mean? It's kind of like, uh, yeah. What did you get there? These cards? I got, yeah, I got those cards, and then I got Joseph cards for Valentine's Day, and I got myself three card, three Ooh. packs. Too, so. You have to open. We'll we'll open some cards tonight. We need yeah. to open those cards tonight. Yeah, that's fine. We'll open those ones. Save yours for when you get home. You don't need to open yours tonight. Why not? It's fine. Don't, don't open care. yours tonight. Wait till, wait fun, till you get dude. home. Okay. You want? Because I, I like to see you open. Whenever, them and show whenever me. I get, na- uh, whenever I open naked? cards. <laughs> Whenever I get naked, I open Wait. cards. <laughs> Whenever I open Scratch cards, I get completely it. naked. Right. I sit on my kitchen table. I see your, I squat, uh, you know? <laughs> take a little shit while you squat. I see your uh, your ritual. Mallory always Snapchats me. You're like on the floor fucking like a little kid on Christmas. So when I do that, when that's a Snapchat, I'm actually organizing my cards in my binder. Oh. Which is like really like just a pleasing thing. Therapeutic. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It's I like more organizing of a, things. It's more of a task for me. I'm like, because I stockpile them and i'm like fuck i need to put these away you have so many fucking cards dude they're all in the you boxes you need to sleeve your good ones and you need I to think i did sleeve the good ones they're just you need more sleeves categorized by type in the boxes they're not really put in binders i might stop by by the board because i need to get sleeves so maybe i'll stop by tomorrow after my judging thing yeah, you're going to be in town. Yeah, and then I'll oh, yeah. get some of those. I forgot to mention, tomorrow I'm hosting a trivia night at the church, and Mike and Casey are going to be in attendance. Uh, Johnny's going to give me the answers. We're going to split yeah, the right, prize right. money. <laughs> Shit, yeah. The prizes <laughs> are paint like... Paint the town red, baby. There's like two cool prizes. So it's set up. We're doing three rounds, 15 questions each round. Yeah. And it's all based off of... Just like, general trivia. Just general, like like old school trivia, newer, like pop culture, all this, all sorts of shit. But... Uh, the prizes, like every table is a team, mm-hmm. and like one, you know, it's a consensus between the table for answers. And then there's going to be bonus trivia where everyone's going to collect a number at the door. Mm-hmm. I do a num- random number generator, pull up that number, ask them the question, nice trivia question, and then they get an additional prize. Nice. That's going to be a lot of fun. So it I'm be looking fun. forward to it. And it's it. a good ass meal, too. McVeigh's chicken, fried chicken. Carol hooked me up. She's like, Mike, I have an extra t- ticket if you'd like For your it. your birthday, baby boy. Like, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That's It'll not what fun. I said to her. You're like, I would yeah, never dude. curse to your mother. Dude, so my mom or my grandma went last year and it's like, you know, our church, you don't really, they don't drink or anything at the church. Mm-hmm. Catholic religion, they drink, but our religion doesn't. And my grandma, Trish, just brought like a little, one of those little like bottles of wine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she's like poured it in her glass and she's drinking wine that night. Can we BYOB like, tomorrow? OG. As long as you're discreet. Hell yeah. Just do it. Who's going to kick me out? Carol? No one's going to care. <laughs> I was like, going to oh. say. Just be discreet about it. No one's going to know. I'll share with the movie clan. I won't clan. say nothing. You're like, I'll be like yeah, yo, Aaron, you want to you want Bingo, <laughs> bitch. Bingo. What the- <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. I, where am I? <laughs> what day is it? How did I get here? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> How did he get there? Oh my gosh! But that was my week. Nothing crazy. Nothing too fun. Nothing too wild. It was good. Just time. a lot of fishing and cod. Fishing and cod and working and working out. I worked out a lot this week. Yeah, four times. No, th- I'm gonna work out tomorrow, so it'll be four times this week. Yeah, it's a good ass time. I'm going to um, fitness. I agreed with uh, a coworker of mine, and you're welcome to join me in this. Mm. But for February, I think we're going to like. You gonna start running again? Not running, but more like uh, just watch our food. Okay. Not like cut out all sugar, this and that, but like cut out junk food, no pop. Low carb diet kind of Kind of do like a minor sober September. I like it. Yeah. Um, I'd be down. Okay. I'll be down to join you in this. I think Ro was talking about doing something. He did the fucking carnivore diet, that idiot. He's stupid. (laughs) Fucking no one likes that kid. He like shit his Have you seen his haircut? For the love of fucking God. How that kid gets pussy is beyond me, dog. I don't know how he has a fiance. He must be rocking a huge fucking dick. Otherwise, like, why bother? I think it's nice. I've I've definitely seen it in the locker rooms. Oh, my God. It's it's nice. You fucking pervert. It's fine. Yeah? Would you stroke it? Mm. How much? How much How money? Much money yeah. You say say honestly if I gave you like a grand. Yeah, probably. How many times did you stroke it? Three. Oh, three? <laughs> <laughs> Road be like, you're splitting that with me, by the way. <laughs> he fucking would. <laughs> yeah, he would. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I think we're gonna take a quick break. Um, I'm gonna get some more pizza puffs. 
and probably use the little the little boys' room. Hmm. And we'll be right back with more Cyber Shindig podcast right after this. Welcome back to the Cyber Shindig podcast, everybody. What's happening? We're out here podcasting on Friday night. Mike is chugging all the Mike's hard lemonade. And you know, I had to go reach deep into the fridge to get a nice cold Coors Light. Let's hear you pop it in. That sounded kind of musical. <laughs> what key do you think that was? D? Do it again. Hit it again. Let me see if I can match it. I'd say probably around there. I don't know what that would be. Deep flat. It's a C sharp, actually. Some really weird fucking thing. Uh, Mike and I were talking before the break ended. Actually, we we opened up Pokemon cards. And Mike got a solid... Jesus. We got <laughs> Pokemon cards a long time ago from a fan that we just never opened. Yeah. Pretty solid. And Mike got a good-ass card. What do you got? Like a got GX? A, a full art Genesect GX, yeah. Johnny, well, you, I never saw Whenever you split the cards, you I always feel like I get the better You do. End. It I let happens. you split it. I but. know. And then when I buy them by myself, I'm like, these are mine. I always get like a couple of good cards. You're like, you, I don't know you how you always really get well. fucking good cards. Yeah. So maybe today when I open the three that I bought myself. Yeah. We'll snap each other tonight. I'm just also, gonna open all my nephews too. That I got them for Valentine's Day. It's like I, I have until Valentine's Day to do it. Yeah, I'll get them a few more. I also did a costume change yeah. uh, at before the after the break. That's right. We got my let's ramen do, noodles, let's baby. Do, let's do a nice pose for our uh, Instagram post. There we go. Cool. That's a nice, quiet uh, Instagram. You guys will see what You all those felt ones. the energy. <laughs> Don't you, you didn't even have to hear anything. You felt the energy. You knew what we were doing. That's right. Um, Did but I? yeah, you were talking about going to 10th Planet. Have you ever been in Dyer? Or I've Lansing? never been inside. Okay. But you know where it's at. It's off 30, right? Right. It's like a comic book shop. Mm-hmm. I was telling Johnny that um, since Kobe's uh, passing, mm-hmm. his uh, rookie card has been like going up in value. Yeah. And I had somebody tell me that they collect uh, basketball and baseball cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, sports. And that it's gone up from like $200 to like $2,000. Holy shit. Well, that's like when Michael Jackson died, all of his like signed like photos and all that kind of stuff, like all the shit that people kept as collector stuff went through the roof. Yeah. Like you can make some serious money. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Isn't it odd, on, if you think about it, that Michael Jackson was such like, he was not a great guy. No, not really. But we still celebrate his music With the so well. Land girls you yeah. never, never knew before. I, 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 before he it's wild to see. that things we like, two plus two plus if a person four. is famous enough, we'll just like put to the back burner. We'll accept it. Oh, for it, sure. But like... We'll, I don't know. It's it's wild to me. He dog. was diddling some kids. He was definitely diddling yeah. some kids. But yeah. we're like, yeah, king of pop, king of pop, <laughs> white gloves, baby. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, we <laughs> fucking did a thing in high school for uh, Michael Jackson. I don't oh know. yeah, we did a whole tribute to like the king of pop, and like, we did like we a, had gloves. What is that called? Where you do like a an assortment of their of their songs, but like cut up. It starts with an M, maybe. Where you do like a shit? What, what's that word in music? Where you do like. A whole showcase of the music, but it's like little snippets of their bests. Fuck. You know what I'm talking a about? A montage. No, but kind of. Not really. Montage shows a passage of time in video, <laughs> like in a fun way. Why the fuck did you ah, sound like a dictionary just then? Because I went to school for film, girl. Never got a job in it. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you drink so much on the podcast and because I my shit this has just been one thing and I feel very <laughs> Mike tipsy. sent a Snapchat he, he, Mike sent a Snapchat he looks like 10 times more hammered in the Snapchat than he is in person which I was like wow you look fucking drunk in this and he's not that drunk like he's just feeling pretty good I I'm think. just feeling pretty just good happy I like this Friday which is fun, fun Friday it is fun Ooh, Friday Mike's. baby <laughs> Mike's Mike's I should have got you a Mike's hard lemonade shirt Ooh, next year or a cool sign for your. If apartment. we're still friends next year, yeah, yeah. If you, yeah. If you haven't drank yourself to death with Mike's hard, that's it, baby. <laughs> we're done with that Mike's hard. Like we'll it. put it in the uh, foreground. Ooh, there you go. I like it. Not sponsored. I wish, dude. You know how crazy that'd be. I would drink a Mike's every day. I drink one every day on the show. That's for sure. That's it, though. Because those things give me bad headaches. 
Do fucking do it for the pod. Bad. I would for the pod. Oh hell yeah, for the pod. Yeah, yes, I would. I drink all the mics hard. They'd give if they're like you have to drink two or three of them. I'd be like, all right. I would get a I'm... funnel and put it in your anus all and right. just like. I'd be like, this is fine. This is fi-. what's that picture of the dude that's burning in hell? He's like, it's this like is a fine. dog. It's like this in a kitchen. Fine. Yeah, everything on fire. Right. This is fine. This is fine. He's like, I'm good. <laughs> 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 um, I have some things pulled up here. I think we should start. With this, this was breaking news. I like your marriage and lunch. I like lunch. this a lot. Actually. Instant lunch, baby. Uh, I saw on Twitter today that your boy Elon Musk. Do you hear about oh, this? Oh no! He dropped a single, and he I haven't did. heard it. Have you heard it? I heard. So I haven't heard any of this. So I was going to work today, and yeah. they played a little bit of it on the radio. And I know the title is like able "Vibe to. Something Vibes." It's called "Don't Doubt Your Vibe." It knows it's true. So before you listen to this, I'm going to warn you, it's trash. Good. And it's Does very, he sing in it? It's very much like a Kanye West song that would never make it to the album. It has... How many plays? Probably. It only has 122,000 plays. That doesn't seem right. No, that makes sense. Elon Musk he is He just like, dropped it today, though. So He's a fun meme, but he's not like super popular. No, you're right. You know, if... Kim Kardashian dropped something like a single that would have millions. Yeah, I guess this makes sense. For you saw when he is. went on Rogan, smoked uh, a blunt on his stock the air, and down. his stock plummeted like eight percent, and then it shot back up the next. Did day. you see when he threw a rock at his truck window? Oh, and it broke. No, that wasn't him. That was the other guy. <laughs> it, broke. it just broke it. And he's like, he's like oh, "Oops, fuck." Yeah. <laughs> what do like you that? say on oh, air? Like, God dang. But right, go let's, ahead. Go let's ahead. Listen to so this. this is your first raw. I've never heard this. Ooh, you're gonna. Is it fucking, gonna be cringy? It is. Not good. Is it? Te- okay, I guess we'll find out. I think it's going to be like a techno thing. Oh, it's like house music. Oh, wow. Sounds like he smoked too much of the shit that Joe Rogan gave him. <laughs> He's decided to go make music now. This is hot garbage, man. I would almost say it's not music. It's not. Because he's literally just repeating, don't and doubt like, your vibes. But low key, if I was like high as a kite. Just, if you were on like, like Molly oh, right go. now, and you're like a bass head or whatever they call him. That's what I'm saying. If I was like high or on a trip right now, like I'd be sitting on my couch listening to this, just being like. You know? There you go. There you go. You're feeling it now. Stand up, whip my shirt up. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. What if this was like low key, like a mind control, like, like device? Buy, buy Tesla stock. Yeah. Buy Tesla car. It's like reverse. That's what it's saying. Because he's smart. There we go. This is so weird. This is like some background music that we could use for Dungeons and Dragons or something. Dude, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's this not. So weird. It's, it's not music. It's not. It's just like I don't even think. Don't I wonder if he made the beat like if he was on like Ableton like a software and just like made like a house beat even if this was him like it's not good no it's not something I'm ever gonna listen to again no I'm like like, kind of sad I wasted my time (laughs) listening to this hey Elon stick to making fucking smart cars all right bud yeah (laughs) fucking go to Mars bitch not go to bars get us us to Mars um the Super Bowl is coming up though who do you got I got the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. Okay. Just I because am, they're the underdog, I feel like. It's my heritage, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't go back on your on, on your heritage. All though. the uh, all the patients today were with the Chiefs and I was like, I feel like we're a chief state, you know? I can so, see that. So I'm gonna be faithful. I'm gonna say the Chiefs. I have so for you guys who don't know, I know this is gonna come to a shock to many people. <laughs> But I do not keep up with the, the football. You just keep up with the sports and the kids and everything. But I am going to go with the Chiefs because that seems like like the favorite for like the people I've seen today. So I, I'm, I'm just going to – I'm joining the bandwagon They as haven't been good for a long time, which mm-hmm. I think is exciting that they're in the Super Bowl now. I'll go with it. Um, hang on, I'm trying what's to pull What's your up. score prediction? Because oh, I've got one already in my back pocket. Um, what are they, what's the, what are they saying? It doesn't have to be over something. What are they saying? What do you mean? Like the betting apps. Who the don't fuck they are ha- they? Don't they have like a thing where it's like the betting apps on there and you can like... I don't know. Huh. I'm just going to predict the score. What the fuck? What, where did my link go that I had? Uh, I think that the Chiefs are going to win by at least a touchdown. But is Victor Crumb going to catch the snitch? Victor Crumb will catch the snitch. He always does. <laughs> 
Hagrid will come in and with a with a fucking tight save too. Um, guys, I also did a Harry Potter like who oh. am I? If you guys want to follow me at makeout underscore Mike on my story and see who I was. Let's do the Pokemon one right now. Real quick, yeah, sure. You got it on your phone, right? Sure. Don't let me forget that we're talking about the Super Bowl though. I got it pulled up because I will bets. forget. Did you post that on your uh sna- on your Instagram stories? Yeah. That's hilarious. All right, so we're doing the Pokemon one. Yeah, then? yeah. You do it, and I'll do it. All right. Let's do so it. So it's just under your stories, right? Yeah. You go to your Live on air, episode 74 of Cyberstream Podcast. Let's see what Pokemon I am. I'm definitely not going to do it live on air. Bro. Oh, I'm a stupid knitter. <laughs> ah, you dumb oh. bitch. Bitch. Um, where's, oh, here it is. Okay, there we where's, go. Where's the Pokemon one? Here, I shared it on mine, so if you can't find it, go ahead and play mine, and then you can uh, do it. I can do it too on yours? Yeah. You can just be oh, like, if you look at mine, it'll wee. be like, try it with this filter. Okay, here's yours. Make up Mike. Oh, you did the Dungeons and Dragons. There is a Dungeons and Dragons. You can do your stats. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> a lot of charisma, baby. Monk. Oh. Oh, uh, it didn't post yet. It just said which Harry Potter character. Ah, oh, fuck. Let me see your phone. I'll do it off yours. Oh, it's posted now. Go okay, ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Holy moly. Holy moly. You love that show? I hate... I never watched that show. I wanted to. Oh, you love it. Holy moly, the mini golf? How do I... Uh, I can't I can't do it. Let, Let me see. You. There we go. We're going to try it. There you are, Let's buddy. see what happens here. All right, here we go. And we're recording. What Pokemon are you? We got to tap, tap it? Okay. There you go. And I am a pharaoh or whatever that fucking thing Fero? is. Fero? That, that weird despair. Oh, let's see it. I thought I was getting like a cool ass one. Oh, right? is that what it is? lame dumb. as fuck, That's man. Dumb, dumb, Boom. dumb, dumb. Well, that did not go as planned. Dumb, 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 dumb. Anyways, prop bets for the Super Bowl 2020. I... How long go ahead. is your wiener? Just kidding. Uh, what were you going to say? I'm going to say... The Chiefs are going to take it 23 to 17. I'm not good with scores because you have to keep it in the. 23 17. Anybody wants to come at me, they can. 23 17. going to win the coin toss? Uh, Chiefs. Okay. Heads or tails? Tails. Ooh, you think- okay, let's write this down. Sorry. I'm just kind of quickly. No, I like it. I'm going to say Chiefs. I'm going to say tails. Chiefs are going to win with what? What's your score? I'm going to say the Chiefs win. 23 17 is my thing. I like how we're writing this down, but realistically, we can just go back and listen to the That's podcast. True, but I'm not going episode to. Episode 74 of the Cyber Center I'm just going to say the Chiefs win by one touchdown. By one touchdown? That's specific. But who catches? I'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to say it's a heads. Okay. And the Niners get the 49ers get the toss. Okay. Get the toss. Ooh, you famous, boy. You getting those text messages. Text, my dad, Don't oh. they know? Don't they know we recorded? Why Cole sent me an uh, Instagram message? It's a video. What is this? Probably because you just posted the uh, Oh, he Pokemon did. What thing. Pokemon are you? Let's see what Cole gets. Okay. He got me out. <laughs> <laughs> he seems real happy about it, too. That's right. He's like, yeah, damn it. That's fucking funny, Cole. Um... I'm going to say the 49ers get the toss okay. with the heads. So you're just disagreeing with me, basically. What color of liquid poured on winning coaches? Orange. Head? You think it's orange? Yeah. Orange. Uh, I'm going to say red. Okay. Red Gatorade. Isn't it the... Uh, the Who's singing the... National anthem. That's up. I cannot National drink anthem on any more episodes of the Cyber <laughs> Shinded Podcast. I love it, man. I'm just like, what, uh, what is going on? Your brain's on? just What's trying happening? to fire and like keep up with itself. Demi Lovato is going to sing the National Anthem. Do you think it's over two over. minutes, one second, or under? I'm going to go over because Demi Lovato has not been performing lately. So she, yeah, I feel like she's, she's going to like, milk it. Didn't she like relapse? Yeah. Fuck, man. What I'm going to say over. I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to say over. Okay. Two minutes, right? Yep. Over two minutes. For Nat Ash. Nat 188. Anthem. And we can refer to these next time. Uh, and then Gladys Knight National Anthem ran for two minutes, one second to the Super Bowl L3. Yeah, that was that. some bullshit by Blue one second. One minute, 50 second. Demi Lovato omit a word from National Anthem. Actually, hold on. Hold on. 
I'm actually going to say under. Under two minutes and one second? Yeah, I'm changing that. Okay. It's going to go under. I'll go over still. Okay. Do you think she's going to omit a word from the national anthem? Yes or no? I'm omit? Gonna say, what the like, fuck does that not, mean? Not like say one of the words in it. What right? are you talking about? Like she's going to skip one of the lyrics in it. Like, oh, like one fuck of the up? words. Not so much fuck up, but like. Choose to alter it? Damn it. Where did my thing go? I feel like she wouldn't because the national anthem is the national anthem. You don't kind of fuck with that. Yeah. Where did my... <laughs> Johnny, what the fuck is happening? I just lo- oh, wait, there it was. Put okay. on that shirt. Okay. I'm 99% sure, but don't <laughs> quote me on that. <laughs> Where's it at? Quick. Okay. Um. So, is she going to admit a word or not? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no as well. No. <laughs> a little ring a ding ding for good luck. Yeah, she's not gonna. Uh, length of the final word, break. Right, that's gonna be like five point five seconds over. Over or under? five seconds? Are you kidding me? Break. Way over five seconds. Break. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that was five 100%, seconds. Hundred percent, right dog. You would you would do over five I'm seconds. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Over five seconds. Over five seconds. Brave. Okay. Um, any player raising a fist during the national anthem? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I feel like I gotta. Uh, you're yeah. You, am you're I in feeling it. it or am I not? No fist raising. I'm gonna say no as well. That seems. It just weird. seems weird. Everyone usually has their hand on their heart, or they're just standing, or whatever they do. Right. Any player take a knee during the national anthem? Ooh, that would be interesting. It's the Chiefs and the 49ers. Oh, the 49ers. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm going to say yes. Just because uh, California, bra. It was Kaepernick that started that. Rose think. always on his knees. So. Yeah, he is. He's <laughs> wearing those fucking knee, uh, knee guards from now on. <laughs> like those painters wear. God fucking hell, bro. That kid takes it to the face. I just... Part three, game day shenanigans. Will a fan run on the field? No. Definitely not. 100% no. I don't think has any Super Bowl had a fan run out. I'd be real surprised. No, they probably, if they tried to, they probably didn't make it. They'd just get so shot much by security. a fucking sniper. Yeah. If a fan runs on the field, oh, who shit. will tackle him first? Or wow. them first? Mitt Romney. Security, player, Mitt team staff member, or another Mitt fan? Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney's just like... <laughs> who would st- uh, I would say... I'm going to say... Not a team member. What player, was the option? Security, player, team staff member, or another fan. Security, dog. Yeah. I feel like that's weird. They didn't have that question last year. Is there something, like, is it planned that someone's going to run on the field? Shit, who but knows? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If someone's at the Super Bowl, and this is a bet. Yeah, then they can win money if they get if on the field. If someone says yes, so maybe. They could bet on themselves. I I'm sure like, people try to all the time. I feel like that would be so hard, though, at the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, dude, definitely. You would have to really plan that shit out. Yeah. All right. Will a John 316 banner sign slash be shown? Who the fuck is John? That's John. <laughs> Who's John, and why does he have 316s? <laughs> 316s of what? Yeah, what um, the hell? It's a Bible verse. It doesn't really make sense to me that people put that on. I will say no. I'm going to say no as well. This is a this is a California team versus Kansas. No. Yeah. Will any players use a prop during the touchdown celebration? No. Yeah, that's too much. I don't know if it, that's allowed anymore. I, well, Except for the football. I was going to say, is the prop considered think, a football? No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think it has to be something else. We'll, con- we'll say that. Yeah. That'll be a gentleman's agreement with I one another. I agree. Uh, will there be a power outage? Do you remember that happened at the Colts one? <laughs> yeah. That was insane. Uh, where is it being placed at? Shit. Let's say, uh, let me see. Yeah, also, what is the weather going to be like it, wherever we're at? I think it might. Is it in Miami? I don't know. Um, Noah.gov. Yeah, Hard Rock Stadium in, in Miami Gardens, Florida. Miami? Okay. Let's. Let, Welcome mm. to Miami where I need a Yami. Low key, if anybody's looking to Party look the at the weather, go to Noah, N O A A dot G O V, and that Boo. is the place to get your uh, weather. Boo, Noah. Anywhere else is fucking lame. Right now, to the heat of dawn. Let's Welcome see, this is Sunday? Miami. Yes. Well, tonight's there's thunderstorms. Sunday, it's supposed to be sunny and mostly windy. I'm going to say no. I think you're right. Will Andy Reid coach the Super Bowl in a Hawaiian shirt? I don't no. know who that is. But no. I'm going to say it's the Super Bowl, dog. It's Hawaiian shirt. Has he been? 
I have no idea if that's even a thing. I'm not sure. I don't watch enough football. I'm going to say no, but I feel Excuse like me. on the Super Bowl, like you got to look your best. The Fox TV broadcast featuring Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. Will Joe Buck or Troy Aikman say Patriots? Sure. Yes, yes, 100%. That's going to be like because the first they, sentence. Yeah. So the Patriots aren't here. <laughs> we miss the Patriots. Tom Brady, God bless you know God who bless the, him. the Patriots are? <laughs> so I'm going to say yes to that. It's going to be like, my wife left me for a uh, ex- Patriots player. <laughs> well, they mentioned that Jay Garoppolo started with the Patriots. Yes, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say no. Seems oddly specific. Wait, is that a player that's playing? Yes. Though? Okay, then I'll say yes. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. I'm pretty sure. Will Tom Brady be mentioned? Yes. Are you? What are you saying? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For sure, dude. Yeah, they, they have to. I'm going to skip through some of these that we don't really know. Go ahead. Yeah, Do what you want. Oh, here's a good one. How many commercials will run during the Super Bowl? 92.5. Over 92.5 or under 92.5? Under. Here's the thing. I'm kind of pissed off because the only reason I liked the Super Bowl in the first place was because of the commercials. Oh, yeah. That's why I watch. But now they're played during, like, YouTube. Yeah, well, they play them early, too, now. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, play my shit during the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's, that's the only what, reason guys like me watch. That's why people tune in. You dumb motherfuckers. Will, Fucking shit. Will breasts be shown? No. No. God, that was the one great time it happened with Britney Spears, right? Or who was it? What? No, was it? it wasn't. It was Justin who Timberlake the, and... Who had the wardrobe malfunction? Oh, 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 oh. Who was it? Beautiful that? African-American girl. What the hell's her name? Right? You better look this up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> was it... It was Justin Timberlake. You know what? Low-key, if I wasn't a little tipsy right now, I feel like I'd know. It wasn't Whitney Houston. For no. some reason. Uh, Jackson? Oh, you might be right. What is her Janet name? Janet Jackson. You're Janet right. Jackson. You're right. Okay. You're right. Janet Jackson had the mal- malfunction. Yeah. God, I, I didn't. I don't think I saw that. But man, me neither. I was so. We were so young. That was. That would have been my first. TV. That would have got your rock. I just didn't even. Hard. I wasn't even like paying attention. I know. Me neither. They were. I just heard like, oh man. I was like, <laughs> yeah. what? What did I miss? You missed some tit. Like, oh. <laughs> you missed some tit. Will Jennifer Lopez or Shakira, Shakira be suspended in air during the halftime show? No. Yeah. I'm going to say no to that. I thought you were saying yes. Will Who will show cleavage during the halftime show? No one. Both Jennifer Lopez only or Shakira only. Like, they're oh, not cleavage? talking like nip. They're talking cleavage. I'm going to say both of them then. I'm going to say both as well. Um, Will Shakira and Jennifer Lopez twerk during the halftime show? No. Yeah. I'm going to say no to that. I... F- um, will Ricky Martin make an appearance during the halftime show? Who the fuck is Ricky Martin? Ricky Martin, he's the dude from, uh... If he wasn't in Aladdin, I don't know who he is. Will Jennifer Lopez and Shakira kiss during halftime? No. Hell no. Okay, I'm just gonna mention these. We don't have to vote anymore. Okay, go ahead. Will there be a wardrobe malfunction? No. No. Will President Trump tweet Latinos after the game? <laughs> tweet, Wait. And then it said parentheses Latinos <laughs> after the game. No, Will tr- Trump predict the winner before kickoff? Yes. You I think feel so? like he will. God, I do feel like he will. Like, for some, I weird... told you all. It was I definitely the Chiefs, hundred <laughs> percent best prediction. <laughs> will President Trump China. tweet during the game? Of course. Yeah. Uh, crossover bets. This is. I feel like this is a much longer list than it was this last is. year. Last time we didn't get the full one. No. Okay. Uh, that's all of them. That's okay. all of them that are interesting. Yeah, man. So, what are you saying the score is going to be? Because I said 20, 23 seventeen Chiefs. I don't know because you have to do an increments of seven, right? Or seven, eight, I don't give a like fuck. Kicks. You can just tell me what you want. I, I don't. think it's gonna be a low-scoring game. That's what the I, I, a person said to me. Yeah, yeah. God it, Almighty, dude! It's gonna be a boring game. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Like I bet they're both their defenses are both too good. I think the yeah I think the Chiefs will score like two touchdowns and I think they'll win from that. Maybe the 49ers will score like one and get a kick. Someone said, like, whoever gets the lead first will win. They're going to get the, that momentum going? Yeah. Dude, I feel you. Um, yeah. Have you seen... Let me show you this. 
Okay. He's like vibrating. I'm sorry. I don't fucking care. I mean, Why a are you apologizing? Today. I apologize. I my, hope I it's wish, my birthday. Damn I'm it! I'm like a good goofy boy. Okay, there's this thing that's going around Twitter. Okay, I couldn't find it on on the interwebs, cool. um, but it's like this ranking system where you rank the wellness of your steak versus the wellness of your toast with the creaminess of your coffee. So, one is the rarest of red steak. Five is like totally well done steak. Okay. One is completely white bread. Oh. Six is burnt toast. Okay. A is black coffee. F is like complete milk cream in your coffee. I so ch- check this out. Chad Hoy. He po- uh, he liked. It. He posted this. I didn't look into it. So are we saying what we prefer? What are you? Yeah, give me your number. Do you have your number written down already? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write mine down. Then you write Ooh, yours okay, down. Okay. Okay. Nice. 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 How nice is it? Baby, I don't I like, like it when you call me Big Papa. Okay, here's mine. Here is a a little. I have like a little handicap because I don't like coffee. So <laughs> I'm a 34 C, which is like in the middle for steak. I like a little bit of pink. I like my toast a little bit more well done, mm-hmm. and I like my coffee with like maybe one or two creamers in it. Okay. What about you? What are you? I'm a 44F. I like my steak. Holy shit. <laughs> F? That's the that's like the lightest coffee. I don't like coffee. coffee. Okay, that's, that's why. why. Okay, that's uh, fair. I like my steak a little more than medium. I'll take medium. Okay. But like, I like a little bit more yeah. just because I don't like it chewy. You don't like that pink in there yeah. too. Like, you well, don't, I don't mind the pink. Yeah, you don't. It's just I don't like the soft chewiness yeah. of it. My toast like is a pink. strong four. Like, I want crunch, but I don't want it to like crunch back. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what you I like mean? that crunch. You want it to crunch you back. <laughs> yeah, either? yeah. I'm down. You're a fan of the pink and the crunch. Yeah. So all right, we're learning lots tonight. We need to. You know what? We should uh, screenshot that and mm-hmm. put it on our page and let ask people. You know what their number. What are is. you? Yeah. I think. Yeah. It's uh, like I said. I couldn't find it on the internet, but I could only find it on Twitter. Or I screen grabbed it. Let's retweet it on the Cyber Shindig oh, yeah, podcast idea. on Twitter. Yeah. And I'll let us I... know what you guys yeah. are. Oh, did you get that tweet? I messaged you. Let me. Let, I'll open it up <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You messaged me. Yep. You never I, check your shit because I'm hardly on Twitter. Okay, go to Twitter real quick. I'm on Twitter. How do go you go to, to messages? messages? Where's it's messages? Mess- it's a little mailbox on the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay. And oh read, shit! You did send me read something. Read what it says. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. Just read what it says. Uh, my wife got this text from at Christina P and so that's from Bert to my Kreischer, daughters. And he got a text or a message from another comedian. Read what it says on there. Officials have confirmed multiple cases of coronavirus within the West LA and Woodland Hills communities. Rose Check fuck. to follow updates. Click the link. Oh, sorry. I uh, Hold on. Clicking link now. Downloading. Downloading. Oh. It is a... <laughs> it's a man with his penis out. <laughs> I tried copying and pasting that uh, as like a text and it won't work unless it's on Snapchat. It's this dude with a giant dong out. It's so, it, I, w- I was dying laughing. I opened that up. I was like, this is the greatest like, why'd you do like, this? Like prank, like fucking, oh my God. I, I was dying when I saw that that morning. I was like, what's the big deal? So I clicked it. I was like, oh man, there's more fucking shit spreading around on the West Coast. I was like, all right, this is actually pretty funny. I was like, I'm glad it's not spreading on the West Coast. And I just saw a monster freaking schlonger. I just sent it to you. It should work. It won't. It I tried. Won't? I tried sending it to myself already. Oh, you just sent me it as a text link. Yeah, and Ooh, then you can... that's a good idea. Yeah, duh. Holy shit. I'm going <laughs> to... Did I just open up your eyes? Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, That's fucking funny. That was a giant wiener. Pretty big, right? If we have any people... <laughs> Who enjoy sleeping with men that's listening to this show, give us a call, 219-552-1128. Let us know the ideal penis size. Ideal? Yeah, ideal. Because everyone knows like the average is between like five and six. But what is the your I'm ideal I'm sending this to a row right now. penis size? I just, I would probably What would your penis an, size be? I would go for an average one. You do it? I don't need anything crazy. Like if I was a woman, I wouldn't need nothing nuts. I would not, not want. A, I wouldn't be a size queen. I would not want anything under four and a half. Okay. And I would need girth. 
I I would I would <laughs> okay <laughs> I would rather girth than like uh, like just like pencil length. dick okay yeah I'm with you I don't know I'm like a meaty meter yeah I did see another tweet online like the other day and it had like it was like fellas which one are you and it had like wiener shapes and sizes yeah and I did find mine okay it was like it was oh like pretty yours nice. or your preference no like <laughs> my actual I feel uncomfortable <laughs> but like in a good way. <laughs> Your penis like shape. It like showed it in like a cartoony kind of thing. I'm it was to think really funny. It. Now you would if you saw it. I can't find it. I, it's on Twitter. I, I don't know which stupid. way it goes at this point. Which way are you leaning? I can't which remember. Which way are you hanging? I'm trying to visualize it. It's I think so to the right. Funny. I hang to the left. I think. Oh, mm. put us together and we make like the We're perfect one straight <laughs> arrow. <laughs> Did you? Speaking of, well, not to get off topic from wieners, The no, Witcher. <laughs> Netflix confirms Nightmare of the Wolf movie will be a Vesemir Ooh. origin story. Who's Vesemir? What? <laughs> I can't remember. Are you names, serious? Didn't dog. you play the game? No, I didn't play. You I didn't to- play I told any you. of the games, dude. I okay. told you. I played literally maybe two hours in, well, and you know. I was like, I need to like have a week off to yeah, play this game. You won't. You won't know then. Because well, who's Vesemir? He hasn't introduced. You can tell Ves- me. Vesemir is like. Um, Spoiler alert. When you play The Witcher 3, Vesemir is like... Uh, oh, is it like the, the old, old dude? guy that kind of taught Geralt a little bit when he was like a okay. student. And then he ends up teaching Ciri like, how to be kind of Witcher-esque. A badass? Yeah. Nice. Even though I know you're into that pre-transformation Yennefer. Oh, pre-trans... Mm. Pre-trans Yennefer. Nice Yo, hunchback. I'm telling you what. You see her or Ooh, what? Ooh, baby. You know, that? A- how old do you think that actress is? 22 maybe oh you're right am i right she's 23 she's young as hell but i she's thought she was freaking perkiest boobs ever <laughs> i thought she was like, like in her 20s god crazy right who hates a perky boob wait hang on a sec no one hates perky why, why do you do this <laughs> i know what you're doing i'm not a fucking <laughs> dumbass uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see this is why we need sober mike to stop you from doing like, all right things. enough <laughs> <laughs> there's like uh, like her naked. Pre, Why are you doing this? Pre transformation. Yeah, what's wrong with it? It was fine. There she is. Okay, there's her in real life. What is she? What's her name in real life? This is her. This was a fucked up scene. You remember this? Yeah. Where they Everyone had like, the council watching. like watching and then well, they clapped at the end. Wasn't that her magic? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, that so was it wasn't totally actually. Magic. So it wasn't real, yeah. She just wanted, like, I felt like. Uh, oh, this is the game. That's the game. I felt like she just wanted the uh, recognition because no one liked her. The name of. Yeah, that makes sense. What's the name of the actress that plays her? I don't know. Um, but she is a good-looking gal. But she's younger than I thought she was. I thought she was at least mid-20s, late-20s, and she's young 20s. That's awesome that she's that young and she can do this. Like, she's great. That's why I thought she was old, like, just because of her acting ability. And and, ne- and Anya Chalotra. <laughs> it's English actress primarily known for her role as Jennifer uh, of Ben Grimberg in that book original series vengerberg vengerberg nice yeah she fits the part pretty well i think oh yeah she looks just i mean look at that picture Mm -hmm. it looks identical yeah that's about as close as you're gonna get yeah that's crazy i mean you could have gotten roe to play the hunchback version they look pretty similar but (laughs) they just like they (laughs) sub him in and out (laughs) he was actually a stunt double for some of the scenes For the wide shots where it's like uh, <laughs> over the shoulders of Ro. It's just fuck it, his fucked up chin and shit and mouth. Oh, that is crazy how they did that, though. Uh, we're bad friends. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Fuck him. But yeah, they're doing a an anime, I guess, spinoff or some shit, where it's like his origin story, which I an thought was kind of cool. Anime. Anime, baby. You know I get perky whenever I hear that. Dude, I know you do. You know when I was talking about Fire Force last week? Yes. That show on Netflix? Yep. Something, a very key thing that I, f- I purposely did not mention is that it is an anime. Really? Yeah. Because whenever I mention something, I just anime, write it off. Usually. Like, yeah, you just like, stop yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. You're like, okay. I shut down inside. Yeah. Even I'm though like, you love Sakamoto Kun. <laughs> Sakamoto Kun. There you go. <laughs> Man, I haven't watched anime since Pokemon. Speaking of, my. Uh, Party in Pokemon Yellow is growing. I thought you were playing Pokemon Blue. Nah, I abandoned that. I'm playing Pokemon Yellow. No. It's the same fucking game. No, nah, but I can't catch all the starter Pokemon. Uh, so, so what? What's your party right now? Right now, it's a little, little small, but we're we're mighty. 
Small and mighty. You say that often. Small okay. and mighty. That's my <laughs> motto, ahead. and I'm sticking with it. Uh, Mankey, level 12. Okay. Pidgey, level 12. Okay. Pikachu, level 13. Is that it? And I just beat Brock. You just beat I'm Brock. I'm like, what up? What up? Come at me. You know what I mean? So... So I'm doing What is great. your next what are you wanting to catch so next? I'm thriving. What am I what am I wanting to catch next? Probably yeah. uh I looked down there, I I need to catch an Abra and I want to catch one of the starters. Like I think it's the grass one. I think it might be Bulbasaur first. Bulbasaur is next. Charmander's like right in the same town as soon as you get through Nugget Bridge, and then right. Squirtle like is a, in Lieutenant Surge's area. Oh, I like a good Nugget Bridge. Mm. Mm. But like Abra you won't be able to evolve it. Well, you'll be able to evolve into Kadabra, but then you won't be able to evolve Kadabra. Yeah, I have to trade with someone. You can't trade. Such bullshit. I, I fucking hate that shit. You, if you, so you have a Mac. Yeah. If you download an emulator <gasps> and you can play Pokemon Blue and then you can emulate, like, <gasps> trade Pokemon will evolve at level 36. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. And you can emulate a bunch of stuff. Let me get a Gengar and all that cool shit. Right. All right. I think we're boring people that are Pokemon. I always talk about what fucking Pokemon. I'm. I love Pokemon. You like it? Dude, I man. love it too. We just opened up Pokemon cards before this. Yeah. It was a great time. It's a good time. Should we move on to some voicemails? We have an email as well. Let's hit the email first and then we'll do. We'll finish up with voicemails because okay. I feel like that's only natural. I'm with you. I'm okay. going to let this. Why is it? Oh, wow. If we people have... are bored with Pokemon, they can kiss my fucking ass, okay? <laughs> Pokemon, is, Pokemon is the top Pokemon is selling, life, the baby. top selling franchise franchise of all time. Mike's more fired than, up now. More than Star Wars, more than Harry I Potter, have said anything. more of Disney. Oh, God. Harry, uh, uh, Pokemon <laughs> will shove its fat, thick dick down your yeah. dick hole. Oh, he's it'll gonna open it up and split do- it. It'll dock it at first, and then it'll just go inside of it like. The Tremors worm inside yeah, of a sand dune. Exactly. And you fucking <laughs> come at me saying Pokemon's boring. And that's all you hear is, I want to be in the... Vip. It gets louder and louder. <laughs> bass starts building. There you go. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. Dude, guess what? What? We have a, an email. <laughs> From Ro. No. Oh. From whom? Guess. I'll give you three guesses. Ro? No. You already guessed. I'll give you three more. Who? Clay? No. It's exciting. This is actually exciting. Oh, Mac Turner? <gasps> ring, 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 He's ring, back. Mac Turner's back, baby. He has not been here since like... A year. Yeah. The title of his message <laughs> oh, reads, Smoke and Mirrors. Oh. Mirrors, all caps. Wow. Mac Turner here. <laughs> I bet I already know what you're talking... Or thinking. Mac, how are you getting all that around in the room? <laughs> What? How are you getting what? all that around in the room, huh? What does that mean? I don't know what that means either. Huh? Well, I'll tell you. Recently, I'm sure you've heard about the heard about the Iran doings and whatnot. <laughs> Little unknown secret old Mac can fill you in on. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't know if I want to read this. Should I read it? If it's bad, we can. I'll tell you and we can bleep it. Yeah, we'll As beat that. <laughs> we'll beat goes, that, dude. <laughs> U.S. bombs terrorists. Iran shoots mo- mortars at the U.S. base. Iran shoots down <laughs> passenger jet. After the shooting, the U.S. unleashed a new missile prototype. Okay. This missile, instead of heat-seeking, is future-seeking missile. What the it fuck? targets people who, you are, who are a future threat. Wake up, sheeple. The U.S. of A let loose the... <laughs> <laughs> a Let future loose missile. the dirty Nelly in parentheses missile name. <laughs> the dirty Nelly, and it targeted Iran's biggest allies, future allies. I'll bleep that. Mac Turner signing off. Mac Turner, what the fuck? Mac Turner, you scare me, dog. That is some wild shit. Um. So here's a fun question out of that whole terrible email. <laughs> if there was something called the, what is it? The, the dirty Nelly? <laughs> the dirty Nelly. But if there was some kind of device or some kind of uh, thing to where it would read people and say like, this person's going to commit a murder in the future. Or this person is like, uh, like more prone to crime and you can incarcerate a person based That's off like of That's like a movie, isn't it? Um, it's what is that called? It's based off an anime called Psychopaths. It's actually crazy. So Psychopaths, 
low key. <laughs> Psychopaths as like, I shut down. <laughs> there's a bunch. I know. <laughs> no, there's kidding. a bunch of cameras around, and they like read people's. I forget what it's called, but like crime level. Oh, and if it gets above a hundred, they're considered like, like outlaw risk, right? And they go and like arrest them and put them into like therapy. And if they oh, resist, shit. like these cops come around and they have the like they just shoot them dead. God dang! Oh, you know what? Wasn't that a book too? It could have been. I mean, it's, Fuck. it's, I see, I feel like that's a very popular topic. Like, if we had the technology to show that a person would commit a crime, do you think it's okay to incarcerate said person or like send them out to therapy? I'd send them to therapy before you in- incarcerate them for sure. I think that should be the first step. Okay. Like, but if you knew that that was going to happen or it was a, before like, they ever, a solid anything chance of ever it happening. happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if they're like children, like 13? That's fine. And send it's them like, to therapy. this kid's going to be like a pyrotech when he grows up. Get, send him to therapy. That doesn't mean they have to put him behind bars. But what if the technology like always shows him like it doesn't help? Then he's always just like in prison because they can't let this hmm. person out because he's technically like a danger to others. Maybe have him, do and he's like, never done anything. Let's pull the old, uh, the old X Men card and just have him work for the government and just like lock behind bars in the meantime until like they need him as a weapon. What was that, Wolverine and Saber? At least they get get like to get out a little bit and like cause some <laughs> havoc. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dog. That's fucking weird when you get into like you know keeping people locked up for crimes they haven't done yet. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. That's my phone. Sorry, it's a tricky thing because all your friends like, are right here. Me and Chuck are I'm sitting sorry, in Ro, this room. I texted Ro that tweet, and he's like, "Don't worry, man." I'm like, because it was like the coronavirus thing. He's like, "Don't worry, man. I'm never in that area." And then he like gave me a long explanation of like why like he didn't open he, it. He, I was like, "Click the link, <laughs> bitch." <laughs> he doesn't get it's a joke. <laughs> Like <laughs> he's like, it's all right, man. Just uh, don't worry about myself. I was, yeah. He just gave me this like full medical explanation. They declared it a international emergency, the coronavirus. But they Did said you see that Porter County. Yeah, there's like confirmed cases. No, it's not anymore. They just confirmed that it wasn't. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Like just today. Cool. Your boys are safe, people. They say though that I'm not gonna have a refreshing beer on the ocean. Anyway, <laughs> the reason they um confirmed as an international emergency is not because of like the deadliness of it but more so that it can spread to areas that don't have good health care which makes sense yeah Yeah. like impoverished areas would be wiped out probably right that don't have like good hospitals too and stuff you know because all it is is like it weakens from what i've heard it's like a worse uh pneumonia kind of deal Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's wild i didn't really i haven't read up on the symptoms a whole lot but i've heard it's pretty brutal right now you're 99 percent sure but don't quote us on that. yeah but don't quote me on it yeah anyways here's some voicemails you guys (laughs) 209-552-1128 tell us your preferred penis size (laughs) what are you are you a size queen or not yeah let us know we want to know who's listening in here all right here's the first one So to answer my question about the devil uh, owing or giving me a wish, um, I'm stuck between two options. First one would be, all right, I wish that the devil owes me a favor. Damn. Um, And then uh, my other one would be, uh, I know, which which is kind of like the same thing. Or I just probably wish that... The rest of Johnny's life is miserable. Oh my god, that's fucking <laughs> awful. That would probably uh, be pretty happy. That's but sad. also, Johnny, I uh, just want you to know that I have not forgotten that um, I have to give you six, <laughs> six pink bellies and a wedgie. You motherfucker, you- he remembered. The last episode, I was talking to him online. He's like, yeah, I didn't fucking forget. He's like, <laughs> you almost mentioned then you like caught yourself and didn't say anything in front of Mike. And I was like, fuck <laughs> Because I missed one of those cap shots in the trash. And I was like, if I miss this, uh, Bro can give me three pink bellies. Yep. And then I was like, double or nothing. He gave me double and a wedgie on top of it. I like threw it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to have to get really drunk. And he's like, no, no, you're going to be sober for this. Yep. I was like, God damn it. Yep. Was like, Come you on. have to slurp something gross. And you also owe Mike $10 yeah. because he got the crossbow at that night and you said he couldn't. Bullshit. I am keeping a running tab of these things oh and you better gosh. believe it. Those pink bellies are going to hurt. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Dumb bitch. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Or I hate you. Why don't you just like get out of your parents' basement already? <laughs> 
we uh, out of your parents' basement. We'll have right? to record that shit when he gives you those. Per- oh, I have bellies. a feeling it's gonna be at his wedding, dude. He fucking remembers, dude. He does. He doesn't let any. Uh, I'm never making a bet play. with him. He'll fucking he's call like, me out on he's it. He's like making a bet with the devil. <laughs> uh, here's the next voicemail. What's up, guys? Ooh. Figured I'd finally call in. For- Tyler, we haven't heard from you in ages. Not some time. Glad to hear you're still breathing out there. Yeah. Forever. I actually left the voice now. Uh, been kind of busy. I gotta apologize to Cole too. <laughs> Went on had an invite to that party. Yeah. But uh, the fuck. My last week of winter break. I got really sick. Uh, no excuse. Thought I was dying. <laughs> Luckily didn't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I uh, didn't want to go to the party and end up getting everyone else sick. Oh jeez! That kind of would have been a dick move. That's a risk nah. they're willing to make. He just he just slipping tongue to everybody at the party. Oh my God, real low keys. He's, he's like nah, 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 nah. dipping it in the fucking punch. He's like, hey, go. Mike was like, he's like real forceful too. You see, like the tongue on uh. Cole's dad. He's like, oh, Bob, good to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then yeah, started back up class for spring semester, so now I've been busy with that. That fucking sucks. Uh, so your teacher sometimes. Been waiting <laughs> for, for uh, Call of Duty invite, guys. Oh, like, shit. Mike never even accepted my friend request on what PlayStation. What the fuck, Mike? I didn't know you uh, sent me a friend request. Adam what on, the fuck? Tyler, uh, Snapchat us and add, uh, give us your whatever username. Your, <laughs> no, he ne- we need to get his uh, Activision name. Dude, Tyler, I didn't even know What's your fucking title? I probably, up. I probably thought you were just some random person. I was like, "Fuck that!" <laughs> like just sending you like unelicited, dude. Like, unsolicited I'm so sorry. Dick, dick pics. Message me on uh, Snapchat what your thing is on PlayStation. And I'll accept it. I'm so sorry, dude. Do it. Yeah, I didn't mean need, to do that. We need some more people in our game. It's fun. I get it. I get it. It's cool. It's <laughs> I'm cool, sorry. I, I don't know. Mike, you, you dick. It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> He's like, I don't even care. But, uh, but yeah, last few episodes have been great. Uh, John, I like the solo podcast. I Ooh. thought it was good. All right. It's a good way to switch things up, mm-hmm. keep things fresh. Change of pace, Ooh. maybe? I didn't mind it. That was I interesting. Change nice <laughs> little twist. Change of pacemaker? Uh, Mike, glad you had a good time in New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, also, I would think it'd be very easy to kidnap you because Me? you didn't know, like, Anything about where you were at other than it was New Orleans. He's like in the back of a car, just cut to Mike in the back of a trunk, and he's like peeping through the fucking lock. You know, where like you're supposed to punch the lock out yeah. so you can see. You're like on the phone, you're like, ah, I, ah, shit, I don't know. I was, at some, road. I was at some cafe before this drinking uh, fucking hurricanes. and uh, We just passed an Arby's. Uh, uh, help. Where, I got a half a bidet in my pocket. I mean, beignet. I, see, can't, I can't pronounce the word right. So. I feel like I don't have to worry about that. I'm a six foot, 200 pound dude. Like, really? if you want to kidnap me, sure. But like, it's not going to be too easy. What if there's like four big guys? Like it'd be easier to kidnap Ky- uh, Tyler, honestly. Oh yeah. Well, he's not as t- as big as you. First off, no. I'm like Tyler's f- probably scrappy. Though. I'm like five of Tyler's. Yeah, for sure. People could definitely nab him up if they wanted to. I feel like if I were kid- you, wanna let's go right now. Like why? Would I know I where get- he lives. I just don't you know. Go get him. Let's no. go get Tyler. Come on. <laughs> we're not kidnapping on, we're Tyler. Going. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. He guys. wouldn't mind. <laughs> he would <laughs> be, be like, like, oh hey guys. No, we're taping him up and throwing him. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So someone's gonna hear this. Be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, if Tyler goes missing, <laughs> we're gonna be like the prime suspect. Like, I swear, it was just a bit. I was just messing around. Tyler's gonna purposely like go missing yeah. just to fuck with us. He's gonna be like chilling in Canada, like <laughs> sipping on mimosas, being like, "I bet those guys are See, fucking missing, in jail." Missing persons. He calls him himself. Calls him himself as a missing person. Jeez. Oh boy. And like you knew the zoo because there was animals there, but like you couldn't remember anything. I had no idea so where true, you were at. Though. Someone He's kidnapped right. you. Like no one would be able to find you because you had no idea where you were at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no one was. Most recent episode too. So I think I call it. Uh, yeah. Uh. So uh, keep doing your thing, guys. Uh, you do our thing. I'm like Zach. I'm not driving <laughs> while almost dying. My Thanks, God, Tyler. Dude, uh, on some very snowy roads. So yeah, I'm sure I'll talk to you guys sometime soon. Later. Later, creamy tea. Thanks, Tyler. Mallory always says, like, she says to me, you're really smart, but you just don't know where you're at most of the time. She's to, right. To be fair, I don't know what, like, where I'm at now. 
when I got pulled over by that cop and he's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to Lake Dale to see a friend. He's like, oh, yeah. I couldn't tell he's you like, like what street. <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm at, what street we're on. <laughs> he's like, funny, you got a broken tail light. And he goes back and smashes it out. I could tell you. I could like, write you up. I could direct you here. I'd be yeah. like, but I couldn't like tell you what streets to take. You're like, there's route two. You're like my mom when it comes to giving directions. I'm Do you a know landmark kind of guy. You know which guy. way is north and south, though. North, okay. south, That's east, west. Good. Thank you. Oddly enough, like, I know that, but a lot of people don't. Yeah, you're right. Which freaks me out. I'm like, you should always know your direction. Everything I had, like, my mental compass is like comparison to like I-65 all the time. Yeah. Just super easy just to know like one main road. Yeah. That's kind of like comparable, runs north and south almost right. all the way through well, like the U.S. Almost. All odds run north and south. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And then evens run uh, east to west. East and west. I, don't yeah, know. Yeah. I just go by the sun. <laughs> What I mean, I got it, my, uh, it rises in the east and sets in the west because if it rises, here's the fun fact: rises you your in the east. S- your sundial out in your front yard, so you're checking every day. East starts with an E. Okay. E eating breakfast. Ooh. That's rising in the Ooh, east eating breakfast, okay. and then I west have to kind of mess this up. Is, west is like it's you're tired, it's getting late, so you got to lay down for a west, a rest. But it's that's west. Dumb. You can come up with it. Oh, you're better than that. <laughs> I'm not too better than w, that. Uh, what would it be then, buddy? Go on. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Because like you're eating dinner at W West. Winner I dinner. I could do better. Winner huh? dinner. I'm winner. on the spot. Everybody, let us know. What do you? This. What would you prefer? Re- re- westing, resting, West. or winner, winner, chicken dinner? <laughs> to remember that Definitely West is in the winner, evening. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> All right. Here's the next voicemail. Who is this? Ooh. Hey guys, it's Lynn. Um, Lynn. It's been a while since I called in, um, Shit. but I have a really funny story that I think you guys yeah. will enjoy. Nice. Um, so, in case you don't know, I am in Indianapolis now, and I teach sixth grade. Um, oh, you teach? And I have this. What a grade to teach, too! Sixth grade. Those were like. Uh, my, prime the most awkward, awkward years. years. I was like, "Who am I?" You're like trying not to poke a boner when you stand up in class you know Wasn't that like, awful shit hopefully my freaking junk complies today and doesn't the worst show class off. was history i don't know about you but the class i got the most boners in was you're always about, history you're reading about all these beautiful like pocahontas and you're like damn <laughs> no i was just bored part. and my mind wanders and when you're a teenage boy and your mind wanders it only goes to one place pokemon or sex and then you know you combine both. them both and sex, then it's a sexy problem. pokemon you're like i'm like wow jinx. that jinx oh Whoa! shit that's oh. weird <laughs> i could have uh. said something real fucked like you too <laughs> That nice fucking smooth pelvis. Ooh, Mr. Mine. Oh, get those gloves get over those here, baby. Get those three finger gloves off and show me how to have a good time. And he's just like, oh. Sorry, Lynn. I didn't mean- One kid who, is, I, I really love him. He's a good kid. But sure. he is also like a huge asshole. Um, just like Johnny. And he is also like a kid that. Listen to the side. What if he listens to her <laughs> I don't know why he's such a dick, but he has all these stickers with man- manatees on them and shit. All of the other boys in my room look up to. They think he oh, is, no. like, king of sixth grade. He's the cult um, ruler or whatever. And he's, it's like, super job. smart. I have him, like, working on seventh grade work. Like, Ooh. he's just really intelligent. Um, but he has a lot of, like, anger issues, too. So, hmm. like, he's, like, a delicate balance. But um, love the kids to death. But he can be... A little bit of a handful. Fair enough. Allegedly, all everything Lynn's saying is allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Like it's all yeah. Hypothetically Hypo- speaking. Thank you. And so the other day, um, he had asked me to go to the bathroom in the morning, and which was already just like a little weird because Boys he don't doesn't really usually do that. Maybe he doesn't. We never go to the bathroom. Oh, I, I went all the time. What? In Not school? all the time. But in the morning? Uh, If I had to pee. I, Dude, pee before you fucking go to school, dog. I guess, but maybe he was drinking lots of fluids. He said he's like, uh, maybe he's in sports or something. I don't know. He said, no, he said he's super intelligent. Oh. Definitely not a jock. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Like once a day. Um, but he has been known before to message his girlfriend in another classroom. Mm. 
on his Chromebook to go meet up at the bathroom. Dude, it's getting scandalous. I'm starting to look dog. up to this guy now. I understand why all these <laughs> sixth graders are fucking like thinking he's the king. Chromebook? What the fuck? You guys got Chromebooks? Who was not Casey was saying that people can message people off of like their Chromebooks and shit in school. Yo. Back in my day, when we ever have? had to send a Back note, in the Stone we, Age. Would, we would write on a piece of paper, fold it up, fold that shit flick up, flick it football style, fold that shit up. She'd put it in a pocket rocket and, and we'd snap either, it at the girl's face. We'd either, <laughs> we'd either pass it behind the backs to get it to it, or, or you'd eat it and throw it up in front of the right. girl you really like. Yeah, I'd get a straw That's and the, yeah, just yeah. like spitball it. Yeah, to right her. in your face, and be like, "Bitch, you want to go to yeah, the dance? Bitch. <laughs> Facial, bitch. I'll pick you up at seven. <laughs> we just call him bitch all the time. Yeah, That's, bitch." Girls you know, love that. Girls love it. It's statistically proven when you call a girl bitch, girls she love loves it. love it when you it. mistreat them. They like bad boys. Yeah. So I've heard. Leave the dishes no. in the sink. They love that yeah, shit. bitch, clean it. Oh, no. Like I said, uh, I'm really starting to look up to this kid already. We're both going like, to be single yeah, after this episode. For sure. I already am. I can't get much more single. Oh, I guess I could. I, I mean... I mean, don't... Oh, meet up at the bathroom. Okay. So, usually, the other teacher and I will, like check in with one another to make sure that nothing is going on that's going to be going on. And so he goes to the bathroom, comes back, and we're going about our day. And a little while later, he asked me to go to the bathroom again. And I didn't think anything of it. Just kind of sent him, made sure, you know, his girlfriend was in her room, whatever. What if they could, like, (gasps) hold on. Is he seeing another girl? Oh, shit. Dude, I didn't even think about that. I was thinking the obvious, like, yeah, they're definitely doing some weird shit on their Chromebooks. Yeah. What if they, like, had his, uh, he had, like, an Apple Watch, and they had, like, his heart rate on there, (gasps) and they could track, like, his heart rate and shit? Oh, (laughs) no. I don't know about you, but I would never be, like, that, what is it, courageous to, like, public? No, there's no way. No way. Never. Not even because in, once it's out there, she, someone could grab that, like do whatever they wanted with it. Like, are you talking like nudes, like sending nudes? No, I meant like public sex. Oh, yeah, I guess so too. I thought that they were just sending each other nudes, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I that freaks me out too, because I'm always weary of the cloud because of that one movie. It's like oh. they had that porn, and then yeah. it's like everyone had it. Yeah. I I don't know, but no, I would you never. Think they're be, hooking up. Do you think these t- these two are going to be? There like- were kids back in our day that hooked up oh, during yeah. school. Dude, there were people t- who had sex in the pool. I was there in the pool next what? to that. No, I never you told weren't. you this. No, shit. you didn't. All right, so you this were is in the freshman pool? year. Do high school. Get swimming. your tea cups ready. High school swimming. Sorry, Lynn. This is going to be a quick. I'm freaking so- yeah, side road, fucking- but we'll get back to you. Don't worry. Uh, I was in the pool. Uh, me and my friend Scott were uh, in the pool. We're fucking around. We're like freshmen. And there was some pretty, like, you know, like, girls that, like, developed earlier and that were, like, kind of loose, loose end, loose, loose, loosey-goosey, kind of. Yeah. They were getting around a little bit more. They had a two-piece. Yeah. Dude. And they looked good. <laughs> and one of them, like, we were, like, fucking around the pool, and then we just see, like, one, a guy and a girl, like, kind of in the corner. And the girl was in front of the guy. We're like, the fuck's going on over there? And, and my buddy's like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But we just keep swimming around. And then we like <laughs> kind of got closer. And we're like, oh, shit. This dude is fucking this girl from the back. Which is pretty, illegal in Indiana, I just want to point out. Pretty, like, low-key, too. Like, no one really noticed unless you got close and you saw it. Was, I was like, oh, I'm getting the fuck. We're like, we're getting the fuck out of this pool right now. Like, yeah, this is kind of weird. And they were, like, fucking around with each other, like, doing other shit, too. And I was like... He was spinning her. He was actually spinning. Like I a wonder what she rotator. looks. You know, I'm gonna Instagram her after this and see what kind of. Uh, maybe she's doing great, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Usually, if you're having sex in the pool in the ninth grade, <laughs> you're probably your life probably might not be going great. There is no way. But. There, I just could never do like a public thing. That's crazy that that went like super uh, viral around the school, like by word of mouth. Oh my god, are you kidding? And me? I was like, yeah, I was sitting right next to the person that was doing it. Imagine, How wild, right? We had cell phones. In high school. But imagine if it was like nowadays where cell phones are more oh prominent. My God. Imagine Fuck how quick that. things would spread. I'd be so nervous to do anything weird. You know, we did some weird shit in high school too. 
we like I, stupid shit. I give credit to kids in high school right now because they got to deal with all that shit. Yeah, I don't like it because things get spread so quick. Like nothing's fun to keep mm-hmm. a secret anymore because everything's known the next day. Exactly, it's Snapchatted, and people yeah. want to get famous for stupid shit. Or I whatever. Tr- I would trust you with a secret in high school for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Now you would tell Roe though, and then Roe's a bastard. No, he, and he would just he tell doesn't like, tell much unless like, it's <laughs> funny. Unless it's like kind of funny, but not too much at your expense. Yeah, I think it's pretty funny. Anyways, Lynn. Sorry, Lynn. She's tracking her student down, like checking things out, making sure. This is sure. the second time he's went to the bathroom in one day. In one day, and she's contacted the other teacher. Yeah, guys don't go that. Yeah. And then I noticed that he was gone for quite a long time. Ooh. So I asked one of the other male teachers to go and check on him, mm-hmm. and they Did came back drugs? and said that he wasn't in the bathroom. <laughs> So I called the office to look for him, and my mind immediately, like, was going crazy or whatever, and I'm standing outside of my classroom, and finally I see him turn the corner and start walking to my room. And so I asked him where he was, and he told me he was at a different bathroom because when he originally left, there was a class at the bathroom by our our room. Okay. So... I let him go. He comes back into the room. We get started with our work, and everything's going fine. Well, I was convinced that the reason he went to a different bathroom was because he was doing something shady, like popping some pills or doing Ooh. something that he shouldn't because he's just kind of that kind of kid. Sixth grade, man. And so the entire time, I'm trying to figure out what he was doing. Also, I'm really sorry. This is kind of a long story, so if it... Uh, no, nah, it's oh, okay. Oh, it cut off, damn it. <laughs> I was like, there's no way she's going to be able to finish the story in 10 seconds. It's okay, because we kept interrupting you, Lynn, yeah, yeah. so you're good. You're yeah, good. I like it. I like these long stories, because it's too. like the plot okay, thickens. Okay, again. Yes. Sorry. I know I said this is just a little bit of a long story, oh, but fine. I promise I'm almost done. You're fine. Um, so, <laughs> we are in the afternoon now, and... um. We're taking our science notes, and this entire time since morning and through lunch and through recess, I've been trying to figure out what (laughs) shady business this kid is trying to do. And I've even, like, talked to one of my other sixth grade teachers about it because he has a really good relationship with him as well. And then we're taking our science notes in the afternoon, and he asked me to go to the nurse because he has a stomach ache. So immediately, I feel terrible because here I thought that this kid was up to some shady business, and he really wasn't. He just had a stomachache. So I send him to the nurse. He goes down there. He doesn't have a fever or anything, so diarrhea. they send him back to the room. I kept and we keep diarrhea. going on about our day. And a little bit later, we're almost towards the end of the day when it's time to leave. We have about... 20 minutes left in the day and he asked me to go to the bathroom so now knowing what's going on i'm like yeah sure of course go right ahead and so he leaves the room and he didn't shut the door so i had like stepped out to close the door and i just happened to look down the hallway and i see this kid sprinting (laughs) towards the bathroom and i just felt so bad but also (laughs) was just kind of laughing because he is such like an asshole kid that like i just thought it was kind of funny (laughs) and so he goes down and a little while later one of his best friends comes and asks me if he can go to the bathroom so trying to like advocate for the other student I was trying to keep the other kid from going so far so that, you know, the other one could have his time in the bathroom that he (laughs) needed. (laughs) And a long while is going by. Finally, I send the other kid to a different bathroom. And finally, when my first student comes back, (laughs) he walks back into the room with his hoodie tied around his waist. And I finally make the connection that this poor child shit himself. Oh! So, I immediately feel so terrible for him, but also just want to die laughing because this child constantly makes fun of the girls in our room who get their period and have to do the same thing. Oh my god. Well, that's karma, bitch. We went on about our day, he went home, and everything was fine. But I just thought it was a really funny story, and I was wondering what were some of your guys' most embarrassing stories from, like, middle school, um, because we all have them. So I hope you enjoyed. 
I'm sorry it was long. Love you guys. Keep doing you. I will talk to you later. Aww. Bye. Miss Thanks, you, Lynn. Lynn. Yeah, that is some funny shit. Um, Lynn, if you're ever, God, that's fucking funny. We need to have Lynn on. Yeah. Whenever she's like around Lowell, if let us home, know. Hit us up. Mm-hmm. Message us. We'll make it a point to get you on here. That'd, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Hear some stories about teaching now too. When Casey was on, she had some really funny stories. So it's always good to have the teachers on. Love it. Uh, that is fucking funny dude fucking i don't think i had shit himself i'm trying to think <laughs> did you ever shit yourself in never, school never no? never did you ever come close no ah, i was damn. very good at oh. keeping my you... my bowel movements <laughs> in place uh i just remember um i'm trying to think of embarrassing shit that happened to me in middle school i don't know do you have anything i think it's not so much embarrassing as it is sad <laughs> <laughs> just kill the mood. Okay, let's I'm hear it. Going to fucking bummer ass, Mike. When we had our eighth grade dance, right? Okay, like uh, you could choose to be like in the dance area or like in the gym playing like that. basketball. Yeah, and I just spent the entire night in basketball. That's it, fine. At, What's wrong yeah, with that? Well, at the point, like looking back, like being there, I was like, "This is fine. This is fun." Like yeah. I'm just playing basketball, like Having five good, other dudes. Good time, yeah. But like looking back in as an adult, I'm like, "Fuck me, that was really." Fun. I mean, stupid. you could have just went in and like danced because we did the same thing like at our eighth grade dance because seventh, eighth grade dance, it was more of like an actual dance. Like girls were like, like the teacher's like, whatever. The girls were like grinding and shit on us. And I was like, whoa, this is kind of, this is crazy. Like, you know, this is kind of cool. And like, I was just dancing. Like, I, I don't, I hate dancing now really, unless I'm like hammered or drunk. You know, it's weird but, that when we did prom. Yeah, and your grade was with ours, so you were mm-hmm. juniors and we were seniors. Yep, which we have a picture together. Yeah, I know it's fucking cool. Yeah, it's great. Your class, I feel like, was the one who like was the younger ones that started it because your class was grinding like crazy. Oh yeah, our they class were was nuts. just kind of like getting you know down. dancing. No, but girls like, were just like popping no, ass like I'm crazy, like, just like shit. rubbing on. It. I was like, this is pretty cool. You <laughs> see, just like Eighth grade that happened. You I was see, like, like worn out fun. like dresses in one spot, bunch and then, of like freaking. <laughs> Come stained dress That's pants. So uh, no, it was a good time. You know what else? My first day of eighth grade, my backpack it had like wheels on them. <laughs> Shut up. No, you did not. They had like wheels on them. It was my first day of eighth grade, and I put it in my locker and it would not fit. So you had to take it everywhere with you, didn't no, you? No, I couldn't close it and I'm freaking out. In my mind, I was like, why didn't you take the backpack with you? So instead, I get my books that I need my for my first class, and I just, like, my backpack sticking halfway out of my locker. And you just kind of half left. closed it? <laughs> I just You're left. like, whatever. How how much panic did you ever have if you couldn't get your locker open? You're like, I swear, I've tried it, like, 30 times. And then you get a teacher to come do it, and they did it, like, the first time. And you're like, God dang it. There was one time, and then I realized the locker I was trying to do wasn't my locker. I've done that a few times. Yeah. What that about you? Any? Uh, I'm trying to think of like embarrassing shit that happened to me. Um, oh, I sucked ass at a. a um, <laughs> I sucked ass. I, w- I did poorly at a. Uh, you sucked ass. You, that was your. <laughs> in front of everybody. Uh, I did really poorly in a. What the fuck was it? Talent show. The first talent show I was ever in. I played guitar. Oh, I played school? Blackbird by the Beatles and I fucked it up so bad. <laughs> what did you do? It was so bad. I just messed up. I was so nervous. That was like the first ever big talent show I ever did. I, I was probably, a, I probably I was seventh saw grade. you. Yeah, because yeah, it was eighth grade I was in. Yep. I just don't I lost, register you. I lost, uh, I forget who else played. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Charlie. Chuck. It was knocked their light kit over. <laughs> uh, I forget who else played. I know I lost to somebody. Um, but yeah, it was really bad, and I was so embarrassed after that. I was like, God, I, I don't remember sucked. that at all. But it was really good for me to re- do really like you got to do poorly sometimes to like be like, okay, a little motivation gets you going. Yeah, a little humbling moments. I mean, everyone, and it was in front of the whole school too, so like <laughs> everyone knew I sucked ass. And I was like, God oh, damn it, I'm, not, I'm good. I swear, I made it. I did like audition three times for it too, and I did, I killed it. Yeah, in the auditions, and then just, I choked. Damn, it was bad. I was just like fumbling. I couldn't fucking play it right. And it's all finger pick. Have you ever heard the song? No. It's like Blackbird singing in the dead. Oh, did you sing as well? I didn't sing. I just did the. I just did the guitar stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's the cool thing in middle school. Like no one knows shit, so they probably didn't think you were fucking up. I they were know. probably like, "Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Great. Pretty sure people knew." It's like you want to grind on me later. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next year, I came back and fucking won it all. So I was yeah. like, "What'd you do last, the next year?" I played the fray uh, over my head on guitar and and won. Oh no, not over my head. What's the, the other fray? one? Fray. Uh, what's the other one by f- the fray? What does it sound like? Step one, she said we need to. You talk. were a fray kind of guy. Dun, 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 dun. I played guitar and sing it. 
Lost and in insecure. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. So you won two talent shows no. in your lifetime. Yes. Yeah. One in high school, one in business high school. school. Yeah. I was there. I remember. You emceed it. it was I fun. remember opening that and I saw your dumbass <laughs> name and I was like, when I my man. Some gay, some fucking dumbass <laughs> Mumford and Sons. Yeah. It was a good time. Should we move on to the next voicemail? Sorry, yeah. Stop stroking each other's weens. Uh, we're just, you're so Ooh. great. Oh, you did it. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I haven't found you guys in the show for a long time. And, uh, <laughs> I've just been wondering if you guys could ever do like one of those radio talk shows and uh, do a live call in while you guys are doing your thing. That'd be so great to talk to back and forth if one of you guys just connect our thoughts. <laughs> just uh, connect just, our thoughts? Just, what the fuck? Just an idea of one of y'all favorite fans. Alright, boys, you go ahead, you tear shit up, you know what I mean? Tear shit up. <laughs> Sounds like some mm. random ass trucker. Said, what is your favorite band? Is that what he said? Yeah, he said, what's your favorite band? Oh, really? I thought he said that. I don't think he did, but mine is probably, if I had to pick it, be the Beatles. It was like, gun to my head. Like, real fast, gun to your head. Oh, me? Sorry, I thought you were talking about a band, gun to no, your head. Jet, gun to your head, what do you got to choose? Panic at the Disco. Okay. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, they're good. Or Weezer. I like Weezer a lot. Weezer would probably be my pick. If you want to destroy my sweater. Anyways. I think, uh, what was it, Guitar Hero introduced yeah. me to Weezer. Oh, it's a good one. I forgot what it was it that was, they uh, did, but... It was, uh, I'll tell you what it was. Fuck. It wasn't My Name is Joe. Dun, 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 dun. Say it ain't so. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that say it ain't so. Yeah. That was the song. Oh, Jesus. Hi, <laughs> uh, yes. I'd like to join the, uh, the Johnny Beat Fest. You know, it's like, uh, sounds like I would be pretty good at that. Johnny, what? Um, I, what do you say? I don't hear. The Beat Fest? <laughs> sounds or like. The Meat Fest. So, sounds like one of the two. Okay. Grandma, she, she taught me how to do everything I know. <laughs> you know, like, she used to beat some milk. <laughs> Turning that shit in the butter, she was the best butter maker. <laughs> the beater, world champ beater. What so I like could come in there and just, you know, give Johnny this beat. <laughs> Man, that just make my day. Please let me know. Ah, for sure, come on in. I think that was Zach. Come you on in, Zach. Zach? Come, yeah, that Can was. I sound like Cole. No, it wasn't Cole. That's fucking hilarious. He'd come in and just beat, his, beat him <laughs> up. That'd be so much fun. Well, thanks. I'm glad you When we had Ro on, he did. Yeah, pretty much. When Jesus Ro got drunk Christ. after the show, fun fact for you guys, a little oh peek talked, behind the curtain. Yeah. Ro I fucking, I I Ro fucking uh, when we were done, he's like, Mike, get me in a chokehold, and I'll like tap on you if I'm going to pass out. I have photos like, and videos all right. of this, I think. And then he's like, I'm going to do it to you. I'm like, all right. And then he fucking did. And I'm like... Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? You just want to fight people. He did when he gets drunk, especially when Clayton's around. And then I had to literally like kick him out of my truck when I dropped them all off. They're all hammered. And they're fighting me like I'm trying to get them out of my truck. Clayton like grabs my hat, whips it on the ground, and then they jump on it and start wrestling each other. I'm like, God damn it. I end up getting my hat and I just jump in my truck and they're all behind it. I just start backing up. I was like, get the fuck out of the way. I'm going to run you over. I was like, get inside. And they all sulk into the house. You dumb drunks. That, that was, was a podcast, man. We have a hundred I think we have a hundred something views on YouTube from just on the video. That was that was our best fun. that was our best YouTube video uh to Look, date. You almost died. Looking to top it. That was a great, like, great I don't podcast. want to kill my best friend. That was a great podcast, man. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Uh that's all the voicemails. If you haven't called in, do so at two one nine five five two eleven twenty eight. Let us know what you're dealing with in the sack. Yeah. Oh, you like it? You size Give me your queen? Dirty, dirty laundry. Yeah. Let's Tell me your it. biggest secret. Let's hear what your uh, most. Uh, I want to hear some embarrassing high school, middle school, just school embarrassing school stories. That'd be fun. Those are fun to listen to. Yeah. That, Lynn, that story cracked my ass up. That's so funny. The whole time I thought he was doing some naughty shit. With That's his what I was thinking. I it was, was such like, a misdirection Ooh. at the end. He was shitting his pants. And then Lynn just drops it. He shit his pants. Yeah. He just like crapped everywhere. <laughs> he just I shit guess. His he, didn't, he didn't make it to the bathroom. Man, he must have ate some uh, Chipotle. <laughs> Probably or Taco Bell. Mm. Who knows what they're putting in that mm. mystery meat? Or uh, 
the White Castle. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't had that in Nick years. Nick Mathias fucking Crave Case. Oh, Nick, no, he's the Chicken Sandwich King now from Popeye's. No, he's spending $40 he's, a he's fucking Popeye's week. Popeye's sponsorship, man. Nick, you better call in next week and tell us your most embarrassing middle yeah. school slash high school experience. I'd love to hear that. Same with uh, yeah, same with everybody. I want to hear some embarrassing shit just because it makes me giggle inside. Yeah. And everybody can relate to it. We've yeah. all fucked up in high school, yeah, middle exactly. school. No one was I've ever sh- like the coolest. I've never shit my pants yeah. in school, but man... No, I did shit my pants on our way back from Indy with Mallory <laughs> th- two or three years ago. Nice. I didn't shit my pants. I farted. You sharted. I sharted that a happens. little. I didn't shit my pants. I've never done that. Either, you hear that, but... Mallory? I didn't shit my pants. She's always like, Damn it, I Mal- shit his pants. She, she has like photos of, the, of your underwear. <laughs> he definitely, look at the streaks on this. He could, that's I definitely, not a shart. I definitely tossed the, the that pair of underwear like, that night. Which of a shotgun spread of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Mike, you're on the interweb. Where can the lovely people at home find your nudes? You can find me at makeout <laughs> underscore Mike. What? I also uh, did a few of those uh, what are you ch- things. Oh, I yeah, like those. Fun. It's a lot of fun. Cole sent us one. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. makeout underscore Mike, I don't really, I'm not too. You're not active on I'm it I'm not very lot. active, but, but I mean, here follow. and there I'll post something. So You're on Twitter a little bit. You scroll, right? Yeah, I scroll. I do the scrolls. Send Mike some fun uh, messages like I did. Yeah, if you want to message me or like post something to me, I'm down to like like the shit out of that. <laughs> but, I like, sent that to that group message that like all the other guys, like Kyle and Luke and Zach and Ro. And Ro was like giving that whole explanation. He's like, hey, and I was like, it's a fucking joke. Click the link. He's like, not all of us have time for wieners, John. <laughs> <laughs> he probably just like got out of some kind of surgery and he's like this is some bullshit <laughs> no I don't think he works tonight but yeah that was so funny <laughs> not all of us got time for wieners <laughs> Johnny where can the uh, peeps find you you can find me at uh, johnny.goodrich on uh, Instagram Snapchat uh, Facebook Twitter all at Johnny Goodrich and Clover um, and what oh and yeah Jesse actually <laughs> messaged us about that he's like dude the Game of Thrones because he was on my sides with Game of Thrones he's like hard yeah. to beat Game of Thrones I was like respect he did and he's he like did. Clover's kind of like an old school app but not many people use it and I was like well I'm on all of them so <laughs> except for Clover find me on uh, Tinder or Bumble or Magic Farmers or Only Farmers <laughs> Only oh god guys thank you for listening to the podcast find us online at the Cyber Shindig um, on Instagram Cyber Shindig Pod on Twitter email us Cyber Shindig at gmail.com let us know who you're rooting for at the Super Bowl. Mm. And uh, yeah, and follow us on YouTube and buy some merch. We're going to be starting up a D&D podcast, so keep an eye out for that in the near future. It should be a good time, even if you don't like Dungeons & Dragons. It'll be fun, I promise. Um, with that, check us out next week, right here, same place, at the Cyber Shindig Podcast. Crap your pants, baby. It's Friday night.